Hello everybody and welcome to episode 12 12 of Power Rangers Let There Be Thunder um, 
had a few seconds there where I couldn't remember what number we were on. But mm-hmm. double digits still. We're doing well. Somehow we haven't lost episodes. I am Matthew. Yeah, that's, what, time. that's what the Ranger there Slayer is, is actually time. doing. We have the some... Ranger Slayer is going back and deleting our videos. So, <laughs> <laughs> so some time shenanigans about to about to occur. We just haven't got that far yet, or have we? Time Welcome jokes. to episode eleven. <laughs> time jokes. <laughs> Um, you don't have time for that, Matthew. Come on. Sorry. Welcome to season um, four. Let's take it under. Seriously? I am Matthew, yeah. the GM for this lovely group of players who continue to surprise and pleasantly surprise me week after week with their shenanigans. Um, and their heroism. I'm sure he was going to say disappoint. <laughs> um, nobody's stolen anything in a while, which is pretty awesome nobody's We're broken due. anything this is this haven't is good. stolen anything except this for the hearts good. and minds of america <laughs> <laughs> um i'm gonna yeah, allow my players it. to introduce themselves in the order that they can all remember i am sure word for word bar for bar hi i'm michael i'll be playing pete the green ranger Hello, I'm Anne. I'll be playing Sophie, the Blue Ranger. Hello, I am Panic, and I will be playing Cal, the Yellow Ranger. I am also Michael, and I will be playing Sarah, the Black Ranger. Oh, I forgot my name for a hot second. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm an unshaven Jay, and I will still be playing Q, your Red Ranger. I'm also hey, look, Matt. we did actually remember the order this I'm time. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Um... Imagine not being I'm shaved in dream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, Jay. <laughs> Who doesn't shave every day of the week? Yeah, <laughs> yeah what's going on, Jay? <laughs> why why are you forgetting to shave and stuff? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's this, this okay, has been a week buddy? where I'm just like, you know what, I really cannot be frigged to de-hair my face. <laughs> and of course, yesterday was the day that I was having an audition. <laughs> For a part as a drag queen who would obviously have a stubbly face. It worked for Conchito Verst, it's gonna it work for me. Hey. Perfect. At least you don't have the gray right here. <laughs> there is some. You just can't see it because my camera is not very good. <laughs> I have brown here and a combination of ginger and white here. It's a strange At least thing. you have her <laughs> um, Yeah. Um, last week, our lovely player characters in their first giant Zord battle Everybody just whoop whoop defeated Infernia brackets Lady of Mount Aziz because we can't forget Lady the title. Of Mount <laughs> Lady of Mount Aziz. Um, she was a hottie. She, <laughs> oh god, hottie with a body <laughs> of molten Moroccan magma. That a hit body me of magma. about a second Outta after here. I heard it. <laughs> That was terrible. No. That was terrible. <laughs> no. Um, All right. Uh, sad news, guys. We're looking for a new Black Ranger. Also, Michael has tragically passed. <laughs> um, Cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Um, they defeated Infernia. Um, they also kind of made friends. We'll say kind of, because I think there's still a little bit of suspicion as to Put whether, an asterisk next to friends. Yeah, we negotiated a working peace. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, there is no interestingly breaking the trend here. There is no episode title for today, and Black there is a reason. Combo breaker. <laughs> that that might be the episode time. title. <laughs> Combo breaker. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very kindly. So fast. Um, we ended the session with most of the rangers in the command center with some information at hand given to them by uh, Emigrant Tech. Our yellow ranger, in normal form, had kind of wandered off. The previous battle was interesting for Cal. Yeah. Um, Cal, look, Cal had Cal had a uh, a charity event to get to. 
and yeah. he trusts his team to uh, <laughs> to deal with to deal with the aftermath of the battle. Yep, helping the people. That's what I'm doing. Everybody believes they that story. <laughs> and our Blue Ranger was a little bit overwhelmed, I believe, with the revelation that her friend Dana, well, her brother didn't quite die in the fashion that they were all told and was in fact kind of given over to a demon to seal the deal, yeah. as it were. She's As you just do. a little bit freaked out by the demon story. Just a little bit. Which is kind of fair, I think. Imagine just being straight up told that H-E double hockey sticks is real. Yeah. It's, it's like, like, by the way, 100% real. There are it's demons. Like, oh, no. They are below Mariner Bay. And they are escaping. That's that a little bit of seepage. Well, so then. So well, I mean, considering that Mariner Bay is like the l longest place she's lived in, yeah, <laughs> might have might might have some concerns about demons in Mariner Bay. <laughs> it's like finding out you lived above a hell mouth. Yeah, that's just I was just about to say, enter Buffy the Vampire Slayer thing. I'm really glad Jay did that sting, so I hope I that no one heard the thing that I said. I got it. Are you ready to roll? And the uh, apprentice watcher so, ready to die. With all of that in mind, with all of the events of the last episodes, what are our rangers up to? We're going to level up. <laughs> <laughs> Today, worth a try, you know. Catch him off guard. It was worth right, a shot. The first thing I'm going to do is hit level four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get it out. So, wait, it works like that? <laughs> that's that's what's going to happen, and uh, I'm declaring it. No need to consult. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Brian would concur if he were here. Um, uh, have we. Oh, see, look, Brian's not here to back you up. Have we regenerated. Personal power and health reset. Are you and stuff. the next day? Uh, it depends on you guys because this episode is all about you. I mean, all of the episodes are about you, but this episode <laughs> this one is about like it... what you want to do specifically. Also, right. another episode title right there all about you. <laughs> it's all about the base. It's all about you. Just keep, no, don't just sing keep that. turning them out. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped. <laughs> Uh, song? What's what's wrong with that song? Uh, I had to choreograph it for <laughs> nine months, and I've heard it enough. <laughs> I never want to hear it again. It's like you know when you have a song that you, not that I really really liked it, but you know when you have a song that you really like and you listen to it over and over and over, and then you get to a point of like, oh, you ruin it for yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever gotten to that point. Okay, I just take think a break yourself and... lucky that you you either have a very high tolerance or really good restraint at not. Hitting too much of a good thing. I've ruined so I, I, I just I need to focus, sorry. <laughs> Otherwise I'll go um, off into a sidetrack and insights into So mind. every So Okay. When did I spend We'll take it as a vote then what? for the five of you. When did I spend this idea point? Same day or next day? Um I want I kinda wanna do something on the same day. Like after after everyone else leaves the command center, I'm gonna stick behind. What? Sorry, what day of the week was it the last time we met? A... I don't... Cause it... Uh, it was a Saturday, yeah, it was, it was because it was the immediately of... after oh, the memorial. Yes, it was. During yeah. the memorial. Yeah. You bastard. Yeah, it was during the memorial. Uh, so how much time has passed since we left the memorial? You... Uh, since you've actually left the memorial... An hour? About three and a half hours okay. in total. Probably not still going then. No, um, probably not.
Mm, that's a good question. Uh, what is Q going to be doing? If they've gone back to the centre, mm. he'll be picking over files and stuff. He might have gone to go and have a shower and kind of wash the ash away. Um, but I think he would probably be doing research yeah, into to... New Frenemy. Yeah. Yeah, they were just given a huge file on a bunch of stuff, so can't imagine that they wouldn't they start were reading indeed. it. Yeah, no, so we would definitely have started reading some of it, like, the the ranger files. It's nothing she would, if she picked up the pink ranger file, nothing she, nothing new she'd discover from actually knowing who she is. Is there anything new in there? Mm-hmm. Uh, for for Sophie, not really. Um, she knew that Dana was aspiring to be a uh, paramedic and to go on to be a doctor. What she may not have realised is that her dad was pushing her towards that direction as well. He was in the fire service um, and he had pulled some strings that whilst they were studying in those last year or so at high school... Um, she actually had begun doing her vocational training to be a paramedic. And whilst Sophie is now at university, learning to be, uh, doing her pre-med course, Dana is now actually a qualified paramedic and would be out in the field gaining experience of one way or another if she wasn't currently running around as a new pink ranger you've also got her blood type and her psych profile and <laughs> yep date of birth uh um, likes, likes dislikes <laughs> favorite beach it's not a dating profile sarah <laughs> <laughs> but she casually so but yellow? she does she does casually give the yellow file over to sarah after she's done reading it <laughs> i dude so that's that's a bro moment. I know it. It's like, look, look. Here you go. <laughs> I know what you're here for. They're, real, they're roommates, okay? And Sarah understand. Or oh my god. Sophie roommates. understands what Sarah wants. It's just you don't have to say it here. <laughs> Take the file. Yeah. Right. I'm... One of the things that's been sort of plastered over the television um the rangers have all had a a little kind of uh synopsis every time they've appeared in mariner bay they know who the red ranger is it's, it's almost like watching your favorite sports team mm -hmm. you know they here's here's so and so this is their lifetime saves their lifetime goals um for Kelsey, it's been a lot of focus on her extreme sports side. Um, the fact that she actually volunteers to do search and rescue, or she was volunteering to do search and rescue um, in California before joining Lightspeed. The fact that she comes from quite a wealthy family and that her grandmother was also interested in extreme sports. <laughs> what it what doesn't cover is that straight out of school Kelsey had actually joined the United States Army she was a uh, combat engineer in a 10th mountain division she learned to climb mountains to build bridges all of the skills she's now employing, employing in light speed she learnt there Everyone got real silent. Yep. The red file. What do you got on their leader? Carl Grayson. <laughs> um, lieutenant in the Mariner Bay Fire Department. He has been written up almost as many times as he's been commendated. <laughs> he is the first person into every... I building into every situation and probably the worst leader 
that the department had seen. Because he is always the first one in. He never has that look back and, and sort of survey what's going on. Ah. He has to be at the forefront of every situation. He has to be there putting himself in danger. Should have been green. Um, <laughs> he is a smoke jumper. He's done uh, quite a few jumps in the mountains and forests of California. Again, putting himself at the forefront of fire and risking his life on his own as much as he can. Well, that doesn't tell you everything about him right there at all. Yes, well, we're obviously going through all of the information. We also be getting Alpha to be doing a search on them as well to see if there's any information we can find anywhere about them that isn't in the dossiers. Yeah. Um, what I will say is Alpha is able to confirm pretty much all of what you're reading. Uh, and they don't, uh, Emigrin doesn't seem to be hiding anything. Maybe there's the odd sort of uh, write up, um, something that didn't hit the official record, but was kind of, you did this, you shouldn't have done this. Here's some uh, verbal reprimands. This will get deleted off your record in five years time but let's face it stuff never really gets deleted um especially if you're alpha good alpha but for the most part everything that you're reading is tying up with what emigrant tech gave you so on that note then pete will say to the group like everything seems to be fine with these guys like they're they, they seem to be checking out, and we seem to have been, like, maybe a little bit abrasive to start off with, worrying over nothing. Um, it might actually be worth setting up this meeting with them and seeing how it goes. Um, I don't know, potentially we could show a, a, a show of good faith and return that um, generator that I kind of commented. <laughs> um, um, yeah. Potentially, um, I also said before as well that there's... Um, scrap Zord components left over in, in, in Tor, the command center, that could potentially be useful. I mean, we have no use for them. If they're willing to share what they make out of the equipment, potentially we could maybe help provide them some materials. We know that their generator is doing good, and that required Zord tech, so they could build more of them. That could be handy, or other tech to go along with it. Yeah, well, we're waiting for their shopping list, aren't we? So if we've got some spare parts, some spare maybe not weaponry parts first. Um, oh, yeah, we we'll see what they're, what they're looking for. Um, thinking about yeah. it, he's been going through the notes um, with everybody. They've been setting this up for some time. and There have been no Power Rangers for a decade. And then just as they're about to be ready we appear how much must that have hurt yeah look maybe understand why they're a, a little bit salty in the interview that they did sure mm. yeah um, but you know that's more rito's fault than ours agreed so um i don't know if q did you maybe want to reach out to them at some point in the coming days and set up a meet I don't know if everyone would want to go. I'd definitely be interested in maybe consult, like consulting with them about the their R and D department. Yeah, I'm not up for trying to have a conversation with other conversations <laughs> in my head at the same time. That was a, a headache. I want to avoid. Invoid? That's not a word. Um, invoid. Avoid. Opposite of invoid. avoid. You want to do it again? <laughs> I don't want to do out voiding. I want to do invoiding. Yeah. <laughs> what you want? So, well, maybe, maybe some of us would like to be involved in the conversation and not just 
told to sit in our zords. Yeah, well, the reason why I said that was because we didn't know if they were about to attack or if they had a force, and I didn't want everybody outside to either get captured or blown to smithereens. But yeah. what I'm saying is that when we meet them, no, but, but, I want but us all I'm... to be there. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what I'm saying, too. Like, maybe the reason you were hearing the voices is because we all wanted to get involved. <laughs> I mean, agreed. The smartest idea would be for us to meet them as a group, just in case. Mm -hmm. um, I still think it might might be a good idea to show a bit of goodwill there and return that generator. Yeah. And bring donuts. And bring donuts, yeah. <laughs> Generators and donuts. <laughs> Sorry about misunderstanding, like love you, you mean it. That's a lot of yeah, donuts. Um, I'm game get for me. Absolutely. Um, what was the other thing that I was thinking? Q will have been picking over the notes to try and better understand how they've replicated the link to the grid. Essentially, the way it was explained is they used the old Zorge components to access it, wasn't it? Yeah, so they used essentially bits of the Zords, bits of anything they found left behind. So it still contains something. And the technology that, yeah, as it contained a link to the morphing grid, when they were able to replicate that link, they kind of pushed their way in, um, Came in the politely, <laughs> and left it open. So they could create their own morphers, create their own links. So based on, I can't remember, did we discuss this? As... Was it just with them that we discussed it or did we discuss it with Alpha afterwards? Uh, with Alpha afterwards. Because he started telling you about the yes. series. This is the thing, I've got all of these the, uh... memories in my head and I can't quite... The Phantom Ranger. Something yeah. he is very much going to dodge up Alpha to teach him everything. <laughs> Plug me in at the back of the head and just download the information. Yeah, download, just download it. Right just download everything. <laughs> um, I think Q concerned for the grid would still would ask if there's a way of I don't know. Can we health check the grid? Can we scan the grid for problems? <laughs> would we know? Who do we call for a wellness check? <laughs> yes. I mean, are we talking about like the technological well-being of the grid? Or are we talking something more like metaphysical? Could I tap into the grid and take a peek? I would say all of you could if you could do a science or technology Ooh, check. Why not? I can yeah, but this has try. nothing to do. I mean, I'm doing a health wellness check on on the grid. Can I use medicine? I will say <laughs> no. No. Uh, the what I will say is, you've got. Um, uh, I don't know. You get edge from your uh, idea points. Oh, sick! Yeah, I can do that. I'll just spend one of those. Yeah. What? And I'll give you upshift as well because of your grid tech ability. I appreciate it's. Hold on, sure wait a second. Sort of the I way you interact with it. I forgot about that. Which which skill was it? Oh, okay. No, I the aptitude augmenter specifically for targeting. But you'll give me an upshift anyway. I'll take it. Yep. Sick. Okay, so I have no idea points left for today, but that's okay. Let me see. Um. All right, dice, don't fail me now. Um, wait a minute. What's the difficulty? God. Uh, the difficulty is going to be 15. Uh, I missed then. I got 14. Rip. Okay, that's unfortunate. That's on my... All right, here we go. Dirty, Okay. Unnatural 20. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. 
<laughs> oh no, I can reroll my skill dice. I'll so, do that just for the sake of Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> I got I got a fifteen. Okay. Uh Cow? I'm not there. Or, no, oh, Cow is, I was gonna say Cow is wandering around Angel yeah. Grove. Cow is doing something. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, airplanes. Sarah and Sophie then. Um With Alpha's sort of semi-guidance, just showing you how to use some of the equipment, you're able to get an idea as to the state of the morphing grid. And you can see that it's there are more than just the five of you connected to it. There's more than just light speed connected to it. Yeah, there's space... There's the Omega Rangers, there's the Space Rangers, there's five more Rangers you don't know of. There's another Ranger somewhere else, and another Ranger. There's there's two dozen. Three oh, dozen. A lot of checking around. Obviously, can we um, distinguish between, obviously, our power set the other ranger's power set and tell that they're using different accesses to the grid. I will say uh, Sarah and Sophie can recognise that there are different power sets. Then, um, and then you can sort of make the uh, the educational leap knowing about Lightspeed, knowing about Omega, knowing about the Space Ranger or the Space Rangers... This would be a kind of they've got to be some of them. Um, would they be able to tell if there are other? So, for instance, obviously, as players, we know about the Rangers, but as the characters, we don't. Would they be able to tell that the pink power coin is active? Uh, that was going to be one of my questions a bit further down the line. Have we? discovered or learned anything Wrong more about me, pink and both of coins. you two whichever it was you just rolled skill wise roll me again is it um, Ian and Sarah? yeah just, just the two of them okay um, okay here's I the want, thing uh, difficulty is going to be 20 i'm I, i'm out of idea points i just spent my last one does that mean i don't have edge on this rule or do i uh you won't have edge, you will have the in white. I will still have in the edge. That's all right. You cut out whilst you were talking. Oh, um, Michael. Okay, I'm kind Me of sad. Uh, no, uh, Black Ranger, Michael. Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying. So, <laughs> oh, okay. the roll. So. Here's here's the situation, Matthew. <laughs> um, yep. I rolled a nineteen total, but my D four came up a four. Okay. <laughs> I will say that that is the saddest failure, actually, because it's so close and yet still a fail. But somehow I crit. You. You're able to tell that the there shouldn't be any Dino Zord coins still connected to the grid. As far as you're aware, they were On Earth, anyway. either destroyed or um, used up in the blast that destroyed the shields. Did did I find oh, I that was not supposed to be there? Did... Sorry, Michael, can you say that again? I um, assumed that Rocky and everyone had the original coins still. Nope. Do, did, okay. uh -huh. did I did I did I see anything? Does not That's what to be I was there? just getting to before I got interrupted. Okay. Bye. Bad Michael. <laughs> um, but you can tell that one of the 
power sets is the Dinozords. Uh-huh. And it shouldn't be. And I can... And I can... You can't tell which rangers. And I can infer that... But what that it, it is the... Whatever Dinozords. I... And I can infer that whatever I see here, the yeah. grid emissaries have allowed at one point. Correct? Yep. Everything seems to be fine. So this is this is are, this checks out except for the one thing. Yeah. Yeah. There are upwards of thirty different rangers connected to the morphing grid. Different rangers or different and groups? Of thirty different ranger groups or? thirty different rangers in different groups. Oh, okay. One of the um, alone, it looks like. So there is a concern in the grid, but I don't think it has anything to do with light speed, everyone. So um, I recall oh, vaguely that? you guys um, explaining, you know, the di dinosaurs and everything. And I was reading up on it a little bit. When I checked in the grid, um, there's still some trace of someone connected... Through the grid via the dinosaurs, but I don't know who it is. Alpha, any idea on that? Rangers, when they left, the others became the in space rangers. The space rangers took the power set that was brought to them. By Corone. Right. Mm -hmm. And what do they do with their dino coins? They deep 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 beneath here. So we have a problem. Someone is still connected to the grid whose coin is still out there and not deep down there. You have like a camera on that room? That they're in, that we can just like keep real quick. Well, it should only have been Kimberly. Mm. Um, and that's the coin that but she's still, yeah. Well, I mean, so... theoretically, the white and pink are a wall. Technically. Oh no. Some. Well, was that an there's, there's still a connection. There's there's still a connection. So I think that if we're going to be concerned about connections to the grid, that is that is a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm. Agreed. Is Alpha? Would, if this coin is active, is there any way of tracing the location that the energy is coming from? We should be able to. Could I tell if it was multiple? But nothing's been... multiple coins or just one coin like that. And not with the check you had. It was a nineteen with a D four. If you'd have got on the twenty, you'd have known the answer. I feel so bad. I feel so. Um, bad. That was the worst. Okay. But no, but Alpha, I mean, Alpha does say that. It, he should be able to, but that nothing is coming up. Um, he obviously, blocked. he obviously, when the command center was first attacked, he made sure that nothing could, nothing could be used from the pink or white coin to find the command center. But that shouldn't prevent him from finding those. So somebody else is hiding them from him. I mean, I want to say something, but I don't know if it would be appropriate or not. We we saw the arrow, didn't we? That hit Infernia. Yep. Wasn't it an arrow that hit Infernia? And wasn't Tim's whole speciality her bow? Or didn't, I mean. 
I mean, I hate. I don't know. I don't know whether that would specific like alpha. Our weapons when morphed are tied to us rather than the power set. Correct. Correct, Rangers. So if I was, for instance, the Black Ranger, I might not necessarily have the same weaponry. Correct. I hate to say it, but does that kind of bode badly? Like, obviously, the pink coin's missing. As far as I'm aware, they never discovered any like, bodies. And we're going to go find out what Cal's up to. I was like, the second I put him on the get him in on this. The second I started eating something, yep. <laughs> I was watching. I saw you. I you had... saw me put a couple of chip crumbs yep. in my mouth. And you were like, I "All right, Cal." It. I was like, all "Right, Cal, what are you doing?" <laughs> Ew, quickly. All right. So, <laughs> uh, quite, can um, are we allowed to talk about the map? Yeah. Or is that okay? You can talk about the map. So. Alright, because that the map is what I was using to place myself. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just looking for where that got posted, but it was forever ago because you guys talk so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, That's not a bad thing. It's just currently being a problem. Should pin but, uh, the map. Uh, yeah, should have pinned the map. That was that's that would be a good idea. <laughs> I thought I had. Did I not? That would have been really helpful. I mean, I I you cannot see it not. Is there. Yeah. Oh man. Somebody well, really. Anyway, up in the top sort of right corner of the map there's like a there's like a mountain range. Yep. Uh, uh and the top left is the San Angeles mountain range. Or the top is the mm -hmm. San Angeles mountain range. The top left is Mount Aziz. Mm-hmm. So uh not necessarily not like right at the base of the mountain, but a little ways off from Mount Is. Uh, Cal is standing uh, in in a field, whether it's whether it's an actual field or just the area around the base of that uh, near the base of that mountain, like whatever works. And uh, there there may or may not, depending on your discretion as the DM, uh, be signs of not recent damage, but like at some point there was. It's like some type of event happened here and uh cal i think is just is standing in that field staring out and uh ev every time every time he blinks as he's standing in that in that area looking out uh looking looking out back toward the city uh he is transported in his mind back to back to the time when he had been here before cal has come back to the place of his inception not as a human being but as who he has become. And he's not like, there's not, he's not like saying anything. He's not like, there, he's not really emoting. He's just, he's just reliving that moment. And he's actually tracing the trail that he has been literally burned into his memory from where he started. So it's, it's, if you want to like go out of the bigger picture, it is one, it is one man taking a very very slow seven mile walk <laughs> <laughs> and uh and reliving the what is probably the worst day of his life <laughs> i would say it's definitely like top two at least <laughs> um if it's not top one i'd love to know what number one is you love to know what day was worse <laughs> yeah if that's not number one i really want to know which one's worse um, the, so yeah, Cal, Cal is. Oh yeah, go ahead. The mountain range is quite quiet. Um, it's a Saturday. There are hikers out and about, but the route that Cal is taking is a bit off the beaten path. He hasn't seen anybody since he started the hike. Essentially. Um, he doesn't have anything with him, presumably. Yeah, he kind of I mean, just, just rushed off. I don't think he let. Like, I don't think he dropped the the communicator, so he's still wearing it. But like, okay. he didn't like bring hiking gear or anything. Um, yeah, it's just 
casual casual clothes, shoes for exercise slash moving about because he always has those. Yeah, uh, and and the watch, nothing else. The Martha. path he's walking on looks nothing like the path in his head just because of the time that has passed in his head it's quite cared for um someone's obviously put some effort in making sure that the uh, shrubbery hasn't overtaken it too much but here and now it's overgrown nobody's walked this route whether or not people are consciously avoiding it because of what happens or just subconsciously staying away who knows but as Cal sees these flashbacks there's just fire trees aflame shrubs burnt back to blackened twisted branches um, there is soot raining down ash raining down from the sky and the sky itself is it is red like some hellscape this is horribly the memory that Cal finds himself trapped in Suddenly, Cal is however old he was. He doesn't actually know how old he is. <laughs> he thinks he is the age he is. He does not know for sure. No memory past this point. <laughs> uh, but once again, as a young boy, Cal is is walking down this burning path, uh, seeing seeing the bodies of people that could have been him, would have been him, aren't him. <laughs> Uh, as he continues down, doing his best to get away, trying to escape. And hidden in this natural disaster, this purging of the lava tubes, this fire that has spread and is consuming so much of the beautiful, otherwise beautiful sights outside Angel Grove in the smoke there is just this one figure walking unimpeded through the chaos uh, and over time uh, I don't I don't know how long it would take. Probably, probably upwards of like an hour and a half, considering he's not going that fast. Uh, but he makes it to the spot where he eventually stopped because he had nothing left. Uh, and he just sort of he Cal will sit down and uh, think back to his time in the hospital, uh, the the time immediately after getting out. The time in the orphanage up until the point where he was no he could no longer be a dependent uh, a dependent of the orphanage and so he he was sent out his own uh to the time that uh while helping around angel grove uh he got a uh, hold of a power coin and with it uh, a free place to live <laughs> uh love how that's his biggest takeaway <laughs> no rent no rent before those uh, memories but... fade away, there's just this one moment where that figure walking through the shadows, or working through the smoke, sorry, steps out. And the memories of Cal those years ago and the memories of Cal now collide and the images solidify. And he sees Infernia, both then 
and now. Uh, I feel like out. So this is something Cal in the current is now seeing in front of him. Just sort of past Cal has seen Infernia walk out and current Cal recognizes Infernia for what she is. She's not actually there, thankfully. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I was about to say, oh god, it's, Cal, is, Cal now has a hallucinatory buddy. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rent free. And then... In Cal's mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. It all it all circles back to no, to no one paying rent. That's what yep. this is all about. <laughs> yep. Infernia doesn't pay Cal rent. Cal doesn't pay Alpha rent. It's this, it's this torture cycle of no one paying rent. Which is Everybody why landlords are so important. <laughs> uh, Cal recognizing, like, is so. J- just to read, it, I can actually like see her ahead of me right now. Oh God! Please tell me you're not real. <laughs> Cal is like gonna look around because, like, he can he can still feel the cloying heat of the moment, but he is not sure if that is the if that is the memory or if that is actually something that is being generated. She brushes her hands over several uh, leaves and even turns it palm up for a bird to land in it. And there's no trail of fire. There is no destruction left in her wake. (sighs) She looks over at Cal and just, who's to say what's real? Well, if you real? if the if the only thing you can destroy is my mind, then we're good. No, <laughs> that was I think your mind isn't happened. already destroyed. Okay, <sighs> you're talking to me after all. That's fair enough. <laughs> Cont- I'm I'm just gonna keep doing this. It's better than talking to an talking to an imagination of the worst thing I've ever experienced. Is probably better than. Talking to my talking just to myself. I'd say that sounds therapy, like it checks out. But who am I eh. to judge? The voice in my head. <laughs> wow. Does that mean you are talking to yourself? Hmm. Well, best not to dwell on it. <laughs> so. What do you have to say to me? How's being dead? (laughs) Well, I came back after all this time. Who's to say I won't again? (sighs) Really, really wishing that you were just some alien. That would make the whole vengeance thing feel a little better, but... Still not feeling much. Cal, I told you. I'm the lady of Mount Aziz. I am a force of nature. And Cal Cal doesn't say anything, but I think because she is in his mind, she will automatically know what he's thinking, which is, so if I destroy the mountain... (laughs) 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 Oh... It's been there a lot longer than you. It'll be there a lot longer than you as well. But you can try. Yeah, I mean, I do. Have to. <laughs> I don't think I like having you in my head. <laughs> as I said, are you talking to me or are you talking to yourself? Cal Which has no answers for crazy. that. <laughs> Well, considering I saw you die, it's probably me. Probably me. Willing to bet good 77% chance it's me. Maybe well, when you vented all that frustration, something happened? Maybe we connected. Ugh. Are we friends now? No, 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 we are not. <laughs> we could be. And then 
Then Cal will stand up and he is going to start walking toward the city. She... Part of him knowing for sure that she is going to be there, but yeah, she just in a futile attempt behind. to get away, like, he is going to keep walking. She's a pace behind and to the right, and she's just feeling the wind, the leaves. Um, she runs her hand through the grass and comes up with dew that's just kind of like steaming upon her fingers. She seems to be thoroughly enjoying herself. Um, <laughs> all the more because Cal seems to be uncomfortable with it. Yep. Cal will get this reference. This Tommy and fucking now thing. <laughs> I would have... I would have got that. Head. I, I would have got that if it didn't sound like you were talking underwater. <laughs> I cannot understand oh, you, please. Peter. Oh, can you understand me now? Yeah, okay, Better. I've heard that I heard that one. Okay. I said, was, um, is this going to be like a, a, a nail and commie thing now where she just lives in your head in her fantasy? <laughs> I mean, look, and Cal, Cal has the option to get therapy and maybe deal with this, <laughs> but <laughs> yes, it is a nail commie thing where she is going to live in his head. I mean, that's assuming she is a voice in his head. Mm-hmm. She could be real. She could, could be, be real. real. Uh, Who knows? You said you could have accidentally absorbed some of her consciousness when, like, striking that final blow. That would make sense if I was the one to strike the final blow, but I wasn't. <laughs> you was in her. Oh, you did. That was no, you were beating on no. her, though. Yeah. Yeah, no. Hey, look, it's possible that while I was beating the crap out of her, yep. part of her, like... Part of whatever she has that passes for blood or DNA got in my suit, which then was enough to trigger, like, some psychosomatic thing. So whether I am actually experiencing a second consciousness in my head, or I am just crazy, we'll have to find out. <laughs> or maybe, maybe this all goes back to Cal's childhood. <laughs> what Tell childhood? Your father. And... I, do I, didn't I don't know who he was. <laughs> But we'll I do check. remember a lot of people burning to death. A lot of fire. Brimstone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Bacon. <laughs> well, Bacon, but people. Now. People bacon. We will check on I the other planning. four rangers. Yeah. In my, my little corner of the console, can I ping Cow's location? Yep. <sighs> Yeah, right. you would see you would see him making his way like back to the city from upper up uh like farther up. So like, and I teleport San myself Angeles there. Mountain range. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. See y'all later. I gotta go take care of something. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Uh, when and... when when Sophie appears, Sarah. uh, Sarah, Sarah. Sorry, I know people. I know the names of people, definitely. Uh, as Sarah appears, uh, Cal will Cal will be taken aback for a second, and then like turn turn to turn to the Infernia that's not really there and go shit. Be cool. <laughs> <laughs> See, this in my head is just like Battlestar Galactica with six inside <laughs> the Doctor's. <laughs> God, you, you know. Uh, hey, hey, Sarah, what's going on? I would ask if you were okay, but you're obviously not. I mean, you lied. Wait, I'm doing great. <laughs> you lied right to our faces about going to a charity event. This is a charity event. <laughs> door. It's to an empty field in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yep. Do you want to talk about it? Uh, got got nothing to talk about. Quiet, you. Hmm? <laughs> 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 she in the background wanders over towards Sarah. Sarah can't see uh, her. Cal is, or Cal feel is twitching her, in the eye. <laughs> but she's just like leaning there, yeah. almost sort of like that far away from Sarah. It's just like <sighs> I wish what I'd ended up in this one's head. This one would Who have been more fun. You're a little bit too uptight Cal, like Cal's eye is twitching a little bit it's like, and that's exactly what I mean I mean you need to let your hair down just have a little fun 
<laughs> do you ever do something but... just for yourself? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right, Sarah. Not, nothing is, nothing is wrong. Everything is, everything is fine. Okay. And like, Cal is pointedly not looking at you. He's looking at the spot over your shoulder where Infernia is. I don't, there is a 100% something going on with you. I'm not going to push. So I know why people have pushed me and I didn't like it, but I am here. I'm sure the others are here if you ever want someone to talk to. For now, you want a walking buddy? Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> Still staring at Infernia like, yeah, I get to talk to a real person. <laughs> All right. I guess let's walk back to town then. Uh, so no, while they're heading off, die. at first I feel like there's there's a real awkward silence where Cal is like put where Cal like is staring ahead, but also like his eye is like tracing the Infernia that isn't there. Uh, and then eventually through like cutting through the silence, Cal will just ask, uh, or Cal will just say, your uh, your performance at the memorial was great. You guys, I was a bit worried when you guys were practicing earlier that day. Oh, me too. But it didn't. It didn't seem like it was going to get very far, but when you when push came to shove, you guys really handled that well. Bad rehearsal means good performance, usually, so... <laughs> I hope that is consistent. Does that mean that we should get beat up more in training so that when actual fights happen, <laughs> we, we get through without a scratch? Is that... Does it correlate? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. And yeah, I, don't it's it's up in I feel general. like I feel like as they're walking, the conversation will go like through a bunch of topics that don't matter that are helping Cal sort of like just bring him back, come back. Yeah, I will say the whole time Infernia is just there in the backgrounds. She's not mm -hmm. trying to be annoying. She's more just experiencing the world, and it genuinely seems that she is happy as Cal walks through like a particularly tall patch of grass she does the same not because she can feel it but through Cal's experience of it she can feel it she mimics his motions and his experiences because even if she were physically there, her raw destructive nature wouldn't allow her to feel this. And Cal One just point in the she's real calm. humming in the background. She's humming the Power Rangers theme song. <laughs> <laughs> And Cal is, Cal is about to have a fucking stroke. <laughs> <laughs> at at like, some oh, point in the walk back, uh, she will say, I didn't tell anyone where I was going. I just said I had somewhere to be, and I left. So, no one else knows until you Thank want you. to. I, I really, really do appreciate it. Yeah. But I just wanted you to know you're not alone. We Thank you, are Sarah. going to <laughs> shift back to the command center where Peter, Q, and Sophie. What are you what are you up to with all of this information kind of thrown at you? Sylvie seems to be seems to still be bothered by her discovery in um of the strangeness in the morphin grid. And um she doesn't quite know what to do with that information. It's just like 
connections that were supposed to be severed that are still ongoing. So she doesn't really know what to do with that because tech and the morphin grid is not something she's as familiar with. Um, but she'll turn to Alpha. She'll say, So what do we do with the knowledge of this uh, connection that still exists? First of all, I keep your eyes open for any other rangers. Um, if they have the pink, well, hopefully they don't have, they can't have Kim. No. Um, I mean... Would would they if if the pink coin was still active, it was still tied to a wielder, could someone else use it? No. But she died. And but did she? Out out of curiosity, is there any way to? Obviously, we can track the coin's spectral energy, but can we track the the frequency of the person using the coin would we all let off our own resonance that we... with the grid in a certain way I mean what if we... <clears throat> what were you going to say do we so we just had a memorial and everything right do we know if there was a body found does Sophie know any of this did anyone tell her I was thinking the same thing. Can mm -hmm. we do a quick scan of like the local news articles? Because sometimes yeah. in news stories yeah. you'll get like, you know, uh, yeah. after the explosion, no remains were found, you know, stuff like that, just to see if there's anything yep. like Sophie says. So, um, yeah, no, Sophie will defi would definitely look into that. I'm just because I have a thing that lets me. Technology or anything, Let's me look it into. Be a routine check. Yeah, that's fair. No, it's just because I have a thing where I can okay. I can learn things from dead bodies. So yes. I want um, to see if there's a dead body. That would be very useful, except if there no, was a dead body. There is like in several of the articles, buried like three quarters of the way down towards the end. There is you know a little sentence or two that just basically says the same thing. Um, the bodies seem to have been burned beyond recognition in the explosion and the uh, they were buried but the identification was done by Denzel Records so there it's are kidding. bodies so bringing me back to my original question then would we each have our own resonance that we connect to the grid through? Not, is it something that, not something that Alpha can track. They can track the coins, the way they connect. But again, going back, they seem to be blocking it, just like Alpha's blocking the command center. Yeah, and but I know they were talking specifically about if we let off resonance at all in the way that we connect with a grid the same as the coins would? Nope. Because then we could have obviously pinpointed who it was using the coin and blah, blah, blah. Um, that'll be something to keep an eye out on then. Um, obviously, it does seem a bit weird that, you know, we found an hour, kind of made it Infernia go a bit bigger than usual. Um, and now we're finding out this inference, it just seems, yeah, a little bit too coincidental. Um, but in all of the previous battles with the forces of evil, when people got kidnapped and what have you, have there been any other instances where someone has been able to shield you from seeing where a coin is and its wielder are? When the Green Ranger first came on the scene, um, sorry, 
Peter. Um, we weren't able to track the green energy at all. Um, Rita was doing something that hid it from our ability to observe. It was only after Tommy brought the green energy over to our side that we were able to follow it. So it's a sound bet that it's probably Rito that's stopping us from being able to see where this other coin is. Or his he sister. Like potentially before. I didn't catch a word you said, I'm afraid, Michael. Can I make a roll for it? A, I, I haven't heard a word you've said. Pardon? Right. We haven't been yeah. able to hear you. Oh, oh. he's dead. <laughs> and he's dead. He did say, would he be able to make some sort of a roll for it? Yeah. I just didn't hear the bit before that then to you know what he wants, wants to roll, roll for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is it you want to roll for? I think he's lost us. Mm. Keep All talking. Right. Can you hear us now? Oh, Hello? lovely friend. We rained. Oh, Hello? Yeah, we've got you, but on a delay. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you again. Okay. What was it you okay. wanted to roll for? Um, to because obviously, if we had have seen him fighting with the sort of darkness when he was bad, we could correlate that we never saw him fight with that again. Then link potentially link that to the reason he was bad, and then see if that was possible that they could have recreated that to then dampen our ability to scan the pink coin. I'm honest I'm with you, Michael. I'm not sure what the question is. What is it you're what is it you want to know? I wanted to roll a history check or something similar. Um to see if in any of the records of when the Green Ranger first showed up and we see him fight the other Rangers, if we saw him fighting with the Sword of Dominance. Okay. Uh yes, you can roll a cultures check. Uh but I will say the difficulty is going to be uh twenty two. Jesus. I'll give you an upshift for the access to the records in the command center. Cool. Can I help to give him an additional edge? Yeah, have you got cultures? Uh, yes, I have a D2 in culture. I'm using yeah. my influence teacher perk. Okay, so you can give him an edge. That would be a D4. Because I don't have anything in it normally. You don't have anything in it normally. Right, so you yeah. would be rolling with an edge, so that would get rid of the snag that you would have otherwise. So you would be rolling a straight 1d20 and a 1d4. Oh, so I can 1d4 it, yeah? Yeah, no snag. Yeah, and it was 22 difficulty. It's a long shot, but you've done it before. Yep. Never tell him the odds. <laughs> <laughs> that, was was, that was really close. Yeah. And that was... How did you get a six on a... Six? Why, was, how did that get to a, a D10? He, ro he rolled a D10. I don't know why. I think it's when you're using the roller, if you've not got a skill point in it, trying to work out the upshifts... What you get, um, yeah. what's in the context menu doesn't match up with the reality. So if you pick the one that says D4, it doesn't roll okay. a D4. Okay. So it'd be it, a 17. Yeah, it's yeah. I, I, I just rewrote it instead as a D4 yeah. and a D27. Yeah, oh, it's fine. You can yeah. keep the D20. So it would have been a 17. Um, unfortunately, kind of bombarded with everything you're learning, the shock that maybe Kim is alive. Mm -hmm. Or someone is impersonating her. Um, you're not able to find anything useful in the records. Mm. 
I believe he may be having a few bits of technical issues. Technical issues. You yes. know what we were saying about problems with the grid earlier? Yeah. <laughs> this is problems um, with the real world grid, otherwise known as uh, whatever your your ISP is called. Yeah. yeah. You okay? Yes. Um, so failing that then, um, could Pete suggest if they're um, obviously... Green Ranger being evil when he first showed up, how was he being controlled previously? Do you you want to ask Alpha how he was being controlled? You mm -hmm. can, but what I will say is, um, I was going to ask what Q was up to because we've heard from you and uh, Sophie. I just want to know what Q is up to at this point as well. I think Q has been kind of reading and kind of listening in and kind of following along with the hypothesis and what have you. But he's probably getting to the point of mental saturation <laughs> one day. So he's... Oh, <laughs> he's gone again. And the Green Ranger disappeared. Um, he's probably going to head for a shower just to kind of... Wash the soot away, let his brain decompress, and just kind of try and shake the day off. Okay. Also wrap his head around the fact that he just saw his dad at the site of one of their battles. Yeah. <laughs> just that your dad, dad is a parent... in a helicopter. How cool giving... is that? He never tells me stuff like that. And he, he was commands. in close proximity with the president of the company. Like... Yep. Gave her a list of questions to ask... Um... Which he did. I need better Christmas presents, clearly. <laughs> He's paying me paid a lot more than I think he is. <laughs> I'm going to give uh, Green Ranger Michael just a second. Michael a sec. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, okay. um, unfortunately, people who are watching the stream, Green Ranger Michael has had to, for the day, go to somewhere else for the stream. And the connection doesn't seem to be great. Um, it's certainly not helping him. No, it is not helping. It's worth my saying something. Yeah. <laughs> so whilst um, we're waiting for Green Ranger Michael to come back, please remember that Adventures in Angel's Grove, a new adventure <laughs> book by Renegade Studios, is available now. It is indeed. We do not get paid to say these things. We do not. Well, we <laughs> we just, um, enough. We'll, we'll, we'll ping Jordan and just be like Jordan um, <laughs> give us what a, a blur terrible we'll idea what a terrible <laughs> idea uh, yes uh, Adventures in Angel Grove is a Power Rangers adventure running from levels 1 to 5 it is it is quirky it is very interesting it it is a very different Power Rangers story, um, while simultaneously bringing in a lot of sort of story hooks that would feel very at home with the TV show that we all kind of grew up with. Um, written by TJ Storm and oh, I Brian love TJ Storm. Yes. Oh. That um, Brian, the one that hangs out with us sometimes. Yeah. Um, fantastic artwork, as always. Beautiful artwork. Yeah. Uh, um, TJ Storm is so cool. I'm glad that he got to work on Power Rangers stuff. Yeah. I'm hoping more work to come because, yeah, it's a fantastic adventure. Um, lots of new threats uh, that cover different parts of the Zordon era so there's it's not just like um, more putties or anything else um, it's a very good Although book there are more I would say there. there are more putties um, if yeah, you're interested you can't, you can't in something to run putties. for your group um, or even if you just want more frets and some awesome maps and stuff um I'm gonna. It segues nicely with hope. Jordan adventures. doesn't tell me off. 
he may do. Sorry, Jordan. Um, sure, just briefly. Yeah, very briefly. This is the map of Angel Grove mm. that comes with the adventure. Um, it's beautiful. Um, it does much better than this awful Roll20 version gives you credit for. Um, <laughs> but it's a very good adventure. Um, buy it. Okay. I think we have Michael you. back. Yes. Michael, can you hear us? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. I've been here since we were Fantastic. talking about um, adventures in Angel Grove. <laughs> okay. Um, Alpha looks over at you as you ask the question and sort of tilts his head to the side, that dome-shaped head. Rita is a sorceress of some great power. She enchanted Tommy Oliver. He was quite literally under her spell until he was able to break free. Could that have been what blocked your ability to trace the green coin? And if so, Quite could possibly. that potentially be... Again, quite possibly, we can hypothesize, and I'm very happy to hypothesize all night, um, unlike the rest That's of... another thing to worry about. I don't sleep. Um, um, maybe we should pop a pin in that one for now, then. Um, <laughs> Magic could be the answer. I don't know where we where we progress with that, so uh, we'll pop a pin in this for now <laughs> and uh, come back to that at potentially a later date. Okay, um, I'm going to say we'll take a quick ten to fifteen minute break. We'll be back, and we'll see what the next day has for the Power Rangers. In awesome. Sunday, right, guys. guys. Sunday we'll fun day.
Hello, everybody. We are back. Um, one of us, uh, try and guess who, is currently eating McDonald's. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, is it me. the pink ranger? <laughs> White ranger. Jump jump cut to the to Rito Rivaldo's palace and they're all eating McDonald's. They're all eating, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they went through the drive through Must have spread on a table. Delivery yeah. no. was not turned up. <laughs> they've been through the drive through but on Rita's interstellar like penny farthing bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> What um, do you mean you don't accept bikes in the drive through lane? <laughs> you give me such a headache. <laughs> a whole it's sitcom sad. of the bad guys of Power Rangers just doing human things. <laughs> we could do like that. Like when Rito and Goldar have memory loss and they're yeah, <laughs> living in Bolt and Skull's garage. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> But like a whole television show. <laughs> a it's whole like, right, in be, Disney Plus. I can't be bothered to destroy the Rangers all the time. Sometimes I gotta figure out what Earth is about if I'm gonna rule it properly. So like I'm gonna go to the water parks, I'm gonna go to the fairs, I'm gonna see what's up. I'm gonna I'm gonna learn what the people like so I know how to properly punish and like take care of them. Because I'm, I'm not here to do it. Maybe I'll just leave this as it is. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He goes to a McDonald's and he like, I can't believe they eat this. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald Sunday. McDonald must be punished. <laughs> we must hunt him down. <laughs> He's not real. Sunday. Anyway, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, the Sunday. Day of rest. Monster trucks. I knew you was going to say that. I knew it was going to be you. <laughs> um, <laughs> no one else. Sunday comes that's along, stupid. Rangers. What? What's the plan, guys? The plan is to reset all of my stuff. Yeah, to, the plan is to hit the regenerate button yeah. um, to oh, get this pee pee back. <laughs> return what? my pee pee. Yeah, return my pee pee. They took it away. I have re recharged just my pee pee. I just realized I spent so much time playing Black Spectrum that I noticed I can actually spend my PowerPoints to help. Yeah, to you've help got PowerPoint options. <laughs> Rub it in. Go ahead. It's fine. I... <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. Well, if I could just, to be, if I could just to get a fair, hose <laughs> and like take be, all of the Black be, Rangers PowerPoints well, and like insert them into my arm, <laughs> mainline them. I... <laughs> I'm you sure. Use them up like freaking candy, man. Um, I anyway. use them because so I need to hit. Um, well, I mean, if you don't get hit, then I don't use mine. So, I mean, whatever. Um, what are we doing? I have lost the plot. What a sadistic! <laughs> what a sadistic take on like being a healer. It's like, look, I need you to get hit so I can do something. <laughs> no, I said the reason. Hurt. No, the reason I haven't been using it is because you haven't been getting hurt, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I but mean, just, I got just extra in the last someone, fight that I didn't use. Yeah, just imagining someone who is like, look, I am a person who has the ability also to the heal, so if you don't get hurt, I don't get paid. So I need <laughs> you to get hurt. <laughs> no! Well, I mean, that's not like being a Power Ranger pays, but... I'm yeah, gonna no. make that character. Game, I, don't know what, I don't know what does RPG if you're I'm gonna speech. put him in. I don't last know what RPG I'm playing in, but that character will exist. Lightspeed. <laughs> last, <laughs> last game I played, <laughs> last game I played, the Blue Ranger was kind of a dick, so no one ever got healed. <laughs> no one got heals. No, but like <laughs> yeah, I, I was mean, playing. Healing. You deserve was, healing. Like, <laughs> no, I was playing Black Spectrum, essentially the same build as Sophie, and then I was like, oh wait, I can't do that while they're morphed. I'm only good for this shit when they're not morphed. That was really annoying. Um, yeah. So I think... What are we doing? I don't even know what the plot is anymore. I well, lost the I mean, plot today. There are a lot of things we could look into, and if we all go back into the chat, <laughs> we, will, we will see all of the things that were listed. We need to... Uh, yeah, that's... I will I think... work on a splash page that just looks like a corkboard. And one of, part of it 
as a callback chat um, is going to have a post-it note that just says, hands off Peter. No lasers. Um, no lasers. No lasers. No lasers. Um, no lasers, damn And we'll be able to just put... Oh, we'll do it like... We'll do it like the... Uh, the meme from... I think it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, the, like, with Charlie Day, like, pointing yeah. as he has his hand on the yep. corkboard. Yep. All of the different plot options you guys have got to follow. Am I missing something? I mean, when you said it's in the chat, where? Oh, not the Twitch chat. The Discord chat. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've looked at it. Where? I can't see it in Discord either. All right, slightly up. Today at 8.55 a.m. my time, I guess. What do you <laughs> want to do today? Consume data overwhelmed by the ah, emergent aren't bad? Maybe, who knows? Sorry, is, I thought that you, you said You want to spend the day reading dossiers can, yeah. and discussing whether imaging can be trusted? Want to train in your zords? Just a whole list we of things. We already kind of did. Well, yeah, we so already kind of talked about that. I kind of want to actually go... There's a ranger. Something. There's a ranger slayer we could try to hunt down. There Whilst is. I'm having this <sighs> sort of conversation, trying to work everything out. I'm just going to throw in Joel Rawlings, the Green Light Speed Ranger, was a rescue pilot in the U.S. Air Force. That's how he learned all of right. his stunt flying. Um, mm -hmm. And Chad Lee, the Blue Light Speed Ranger. Was an dolphin trainer, aviation <laughs> survival technician, which I learned the other day, is what they call the rescue swimmers in the Coast Guard. The ones nice. that jump out of the helicopters and. So they have military backgrounds, except they for all, Dana. other than Dana, Dana and Carter, and Carter and Dana. There's a bit of nepotism there because both know Captain Mitchell. Well. <laughs> Yeah, but the Carter bit isn't in the dossier, is it? Because I know it's in canon. It's been addressed like... Uh, no, it's not in the dossier. No. So the nepotism bit only really applies to Dana. Applies to Dana. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm trying not to metagame. And yeah, for Carter, it's like, how is he the leader? Like, out of all of the people you could choose from, how is he the leader? You know... Dana would be a better leader. <laughs> yeah, I mean, probably. Anyway, no. Um, okay, so Seems military backgrounds. Mm. Um, mm. And it's the Sunday, so there's no school before. things happening. No class. Um, yeah. I'd say the precious thing is it can deal with, with the emigrants. Uh, we we need to. We do. We do need to meet with them. Um, Did we do that you know, today? They, Just saw them yesterday. The system info on being able to track this missing coin. Didn't exactly. I know. I know what the rules are, but we didn't exactly make it easy for us to arrange something with them. No, we've got their contact details. We can get in touch with them at any point. Yeah, no, we got a card. Yeah, and what do you want to say to them specifically? I mean, we're trying to keep our end in to these secrets well, yeah, obviously and everything. We'll What's the plan? Um, but yeah, just... Set up a meet for a potential information share. Also, tell them we've got a little something for them as well. I'll give them back their generator. Um. <laughs> a neat little bow on it. Yeah. <laughs> did you? Did you? Did we? Did you ever get that internship at Ener Energy Energy? Um, Peter, did you? Did you ever oh, get? <laughs> yeah. Did you ever get an internship at the company? I was just curious. Um, that was one of my questions. Yeah, that was following this bit. That. Um, <laughs> I don't know if Pete knew about that. that no, I, I know. Must, yeah, must I don't know. yeah. I I feel like Pete just. I don't remember if Pete was looking into it or someone was looking into it for Pete. I couldn't remember. Uh, too, too asked for Pete. Yeah. Um, 
I would assume he hasn't heard anything from that. Yeah. That did would... seem a little bit busy for reasons that have now Some... become apparent. <laughs> Some volcano caused a spat. Um, yeah, so mm, that's fair. kind of Q would probably be going for dinner with his family this evening. So later on today, he might be able to discuss it with his dad if his dad's done anything about it. But mm -hmm. uh, timelines and shenanigans. But yeah, if we've got nothing else that we want to do, we can um, arrange coffee donuts and a power generator. With Evergreen somewhere. Sounds you bring good to the me. power generator, you bring the coffee and donuts. There's a lot more of them <laughs> than there is of you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's either that or I try to go pick up a shift. So. Yeah, I'd say that's probably a good talk. point of call then. Contact Evergreen, get this shizness all out in the open and air clear between us. And then we can start with. Some sort of information share. They could help us with a few problems. We could help them. Mm -hmm. We'll get um, Alpha to fax them. <laughs> just I to was mess just about them. to ask. Um, I'm not going to make We're it gonna difficult. Send it the communications isn't an issue. You Presumably, you want to send it securely. Alpha can handle that. But how were you going to do it? Are you doing it by fax? Facts, hundred percent facts. Yeah. And where are you meeting? Did we say at one of the off-brand Happy Yak coffee shacks outside of? Yeah, like, <laughs> just empowering, just just turn up. Like, like, we... just <laughs> yeah. Halfway between Angel Grove, Mariner Bay, just a Happy Yak, yeah. hanging out. There is just one a little there petrol there station with nothing Yak around it. Coffee, you just middle of. There's middle of a long stretch of interstate highway. <laughs> yeah, Honestly, like we would see in a horror want... movie, but yeah. We, I understand we kind of want people around to make sure no shenanigans ensue as such on immigrant side. Um, but at the same time, would it be wise to meet them somewhere that's not densely populated in case there are some shenanigans that happen? I was I thinking mean, maybe if we went to the loading bay where we stole the generator from them. Yeah, that would... I mean, either that or we could just like... We could just go to like the roof of their building, be like, "Hey, we'll meet you on the roof, and you can lead us Flex. to a conference room or something." Well, no, being one of their buildings, they could potentially have defensive measures in that that could end up screwing us. us like it's us standing yeah. on the force field. You like the happy yeah. act? I like the happy act. Well, yeah. if the game master yeah. says it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. It's the coffee shop is there. Location, like. Might be too Wait, soon. Like, I just thought of something. You know, <laughs> I just I just thought of something and it's weird and dumb. If if Let's we need it. if we need a discreet area for the Power Rangers to meet the, the guys at Emigrant, like a place where like we can get the meeting done and like no one will question as to why the Power Rangers are just there at a public place. It's quite possible that I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> We've not done this in a few sessions. This it's been a true. minute. It's it has really been a minute. minute. <laughs> Go for it. You right. know the guy who owns the fucking ha Happy Yak. I know. The, I know the manager of the Interstate uh, Happy Yak. <laughs> you can get us a private room. Yeah, but it could be someone Sarah knows, right? Uh, are we invoking that ability? No, it's Cal's invoking yeah. it. Sorry, it's me. Yeah, I am the yellow guy. He knows it's right. Or I don't. Is it? It's the it's the origin, right? It's the origin. It, part? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I recognize that because I've 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 abused the shit out of it. That is how I Jimmy know. the intern became a bit. Jimmy the intern. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, we just I kept I kept using the ability, and as a bit, our GM just said, "Oh, it's Jimmy. It's he got fired the from the last guy. jump." <laughs> it's this. It's just a whole bit in our game, and it was amazing. Uh, also, I've been doing this the wrong and... way, making completely new, new characters people. every yeah. time. Yeah, I've been yeah. doing this and the that. wrong way. <laughs> it, literally, he <laughs> knows a guy. <laughs> just one. The one guy. <laughs> the one guy. <laughs> the guy he got know. fired from That's his from the first. Oh, it was a whole thing. It was great. 
this is actually going to be really funny. Please tell me you succeeded. No, I failed. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> I failed a while ago. It's a twelve roll. <laughs> yeah, it is. Double check. It's so sad. I don't lent in my roller decks. <laughs> I'm disappointed by that. Just for the record, well, I'm disappointed in you. Got to check the numbers on that one. That feels so bad. Yeah. How is how is it my fault that the die is an asshole? <laughs> Did you check the yellow pages? <laughs> Did you check the yellow pages? Um, <laughs> you you have alpha sends. That fact. That facts. That fact. That's a pretty silly ass question. Yeah, yeah. Like, that, that's not right. You have alpha send that fact. <laughs> alpha sends a fax that is a frequently asked questions yeah, it's about just the, the frequently Ranger. asked questions about uh, Emma Grunzek. Um, Rangers don't seem very confident. Please just, you know, just make them feel a bit more at home. Um, and you yes, agree to this undisclosed me, happy yak. Yeah. At the Happy Yak, about halfway between Angel Grove and Mariner Bay. You teleport in five minutes before you're supposed to be there, just to make sure everything's okay. You know, hey, for a second we might have gone by Radbug. No Radbug. Not yet. <laughs> um, we haven't found that yet. The five, the five Power Rangers all chilling in the Redbug, just like... Yeah. Do, 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 do. Um, Alpha has found some sort of anti gravity sled that is enabling Pete to push this power cell um, that he hugged. I'm in there. Com- commandeered with great masculinity yeah, as he um, bear- as he koala'd around it and teleported out. <laughs> without considering the Explosive rem- ramifications. Um, yeah, teleporting the, with strange technology. <laughs> when you teleport in to just outside the gas station, would that be able? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it takes a second to realize just how quiet everything is. There's no traffic. He tucks his helmet. No, your audio, your audio is working. It's just no very... traffic at all. Not a single car, truck, motorbike. The gas station is empty of customers. Oh, yeah. The lights at the dog. are dimmed. <laughs> the happy yak. All of the lights are bright. And as you approach. Q actually sees inside that his father is one of three people sitting at a table drinking some fairly good coffee. Um, Come on now. <laughs> just communicate to Q. Batman voice on, bud. Batman voice on. Don't do it. <laughs> what the five of you do realise Sarah probably a little bit quicker than the rest of you is that (laughs) Graham Weathers the security guard for (laughs) previously for Emigrant Tech (laughs) is standing behind the counter in full Happy Yak uniform Uh Uh And not, <laughs> I'm posing as a Happy Yak employee uniform. This is, I lost my job at Emigrant Tech because I lost my ID badge and my gun <laughs> in the same day. Still haven't found my gun, by the way. Oh, my ID it to badge. Him, no. <laughs> um, and Amazing. this is where I've managed to get a job. And now, now, and now, my boxes, old bosses are here. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this must hurt. The shade. <laughs> yeah. And sucks to be, sucks to be that guy. Sucks to be Graham. Boy, there are right. no more other customers. It could be. It could be really good for him. It could be a much better work-life balance, kind of being outside of the emigrant like That's corporate. Probably. I mean, look, like that much Medicorp, is true. Yeah. I'm just saying it must suck to see the like. The, the upper brass of your former job and the Power Rangers 
who are partly, mostly responsible for the fact that you got <laughs> fired. You do kind of um, go ahead and roll me an alertness insight check. Um, can do that. Can I? Can I do it? A- Cool, just did it. Just barely did it. <laughs> Hold on, I want to do it. These are my favorite. Yeah, 18. everybody can. Uh, 14. Yeah. But I rolled two 12s. I was like... Oh, on the d20. Yeah, so, on the d20. Question. Yep. My nomad influence gives me edge on social tests when attempting to gain an insight into someone's motives or see if they're lying to you. It sounds like what that sounds like what we're doing, but it says I would social. Say yes, it is a smart. Okay. But I would say yeah. Yeah. And so that feels like because the alert, the insight skill is under smart. So I was like, yeah. The so edge, bam, bam. Up yeah. <laughs> um, oh, the weasel. I think that is every one of you. Um, realizes like, you can see the look on his face. Um, <laughs> he is not happy to be here. Uh, unbeknownst to you, as soon as um, the emigrant tech team turned up and basically blockaded the road a mile in each direction, <laughs> closed down the gas station, closed down the Happy Yak, and bought it out for the rest of the day. He has been trying to get somebody to take his shift. <laughs> if he could close it down and walk out without losing his job, he would have. This but poor some right here. He's got bills well, to pay. Um, this isn't going very well for him. He's not living his best y'all, life. Y'all recognize that, uh, that barista, <laughs> right? Don't just don't call attention to it. Well, that's why I'm what's up, you turtles. Yo, I feel I say, feel bad. <laughs> like, um, it's pretty funny, I think. <laughs> you ruined his life, and you think it's funny? I knew I liked you for a reason. <laughs> I mean, did did you ever get rid of that gun? No, I still have it. Why would I get rid? Oh, it's a free gun. Why would? <laughs> free gun? Good to know. Unregistered too. <laughs> it's under my pillow. <laughs> Pete just mentally jotting down in his helmet. Don't piss Sarah off. <laughs> <laughs> Near her pillows. <laughs> <laughs> you, for, for a brief second, you forgot that we're all just Power Rangers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you could you could probably get shot. <laughs> Um, <laughs> not willing to test it, but probably. <laughs> Sophie's just gonna like hang back. Wait, and Sarah, I just watch. got a great idea. We can't do it right now, but <laughs> later, free time. Grab the gun. We're gonna see if these suits can tank a bullet. <laughs> <sighs> it's right. all, totally, because we get the choice of whether we die or not. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hi, I would like to get to the plot, please. <laughs> Thanks. Right. Matt, you okay, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm dying slightly. Listen, <laughs> I'm... Uh, if no one else, I'm trying to follow the plot here, so... No, no that's <laughs> fine. I was just... I thought the character intuition was quite amusing. That was all. No, I... Yeah. <laughs> we like to take the scene group for the plot. Well, let's, let's take our meeting then. You in walk in. Who <laughs> presumably Q takes the lead purely for I can't Q I can't would hold Q would hold the door um on point of chivalry and being polite. Okay. He would let he'd certainly let the ladies go in first. I, I can't resist. As I walk in, I give I give the, the barista a thumbs up. <laughs> Peter, Peter, just has his, <laughs> Peter has his anti-gravity sled that he pushes in ahead of him. And Q's dad walks over towards it. He's got a laptop out. He plonks down very carefully on top of this power cell 
and hooks it up to a peripheral um, that he's able to pull out of the power cell. And just as a few diagnostics, make sure that nothing is close to any sort of boom, <laughs> he says eloquently. Whilst the CEO stands up and gestures for the Power Rangers to take seats and just... I do have... Sorry. <laughs> Go on. I do have a quick kind of semi-above table question. Our helmets have, like, the whole mouth cover thing on. Is there a way that we can eat or drink with them? Is there See, a what kind you do of, is like, you, teleport the, you teleport the beverage into the suit <laughs> so that there is a bulge right around the throat with a straw. <laughs> I was saying I mean, that the mouth, the actual mouth, hard. can just yeah. disappear, one way or the other. Yeah. Um, I mean, she straws. just, yeah, she gestures <laughs> towards the seats, and it's just like, um, would you, coffee, tea. Um, I mean, if you're juice, buying, it's already uh, all paid I'm, for. I'm yeah. good. <laughs> There's nowhere to put like a wallet on in these suits. Oh, what are you talking about? And Cal me. pulls out like a massive chunky wallet. <laughs> it's easy. And then he puts, and then as his hand disappears below camera level, the wallet is gone. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Have you guys figured you out how to. Do you have. I'm, I'm storing everything that I need on me inside Tor, and I'm just having it teleported to my hand using, <laughs> using micro calculations on the watch. Yeah. I mean. This I suppose direction. there's a bonus to be being chosen by the grid instead of all of this science. Um, I'm sure you guys will figure out interdimensional spaces eventually. <laughs> Saunter up. Uh, counter. Lean it, lean in. Ram. We've been yeah, I'll, take to a, uh, I'll take a large <laughs> take a <more>. shadow. <laughs> Please, thank you. <laughs> All of the <laughs> beverages that anybody orders are delivered. <laughs> um, the power cell is found to be non-explosive, thankfully. Everybody takes their seats. Peter? Um, I had a quick question. Um, I forgot to mention it earlier. Whilst we had the, the yeah. generator in our possession... Um, could Pete have done like diagnostics on it to compare it to the energy sources of our own Zords and whatnot? No, because you didn't say it earlier. <laughs> no, bad no, Pete. No. <laughs> it was like a, a little story thing I was going to tie in science wise to the mm. to Q's dad. Uh, go ahead and roll me a technology check. Difficulty 20. Owe me two seconds, my dear boy. Because Roll 20 is being a douche. Never, ever. Unpossible. <laughs> Roll 20 works perfectly. Oh, Sorry, people, do bear with me a moment. I've gone perfectly British right now. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I've just had to reload while funny quickly because it's being a douche novel. Do you want me to douche. roll it for you? Douche canoe. If you could, that would be lovely. Okay. Loverly. Wouldn't Lo it be lovely? Technology, no specialization, no skill shift, difficulty 20, no edge snag or normal. Um, no, it doesn't. 15. Slightly above average, but not enough, unfortunately. <laughs> um, the three individuals from Emigrant Tech take their seats. Q's dad sits down last. He puts the laptop in front of him and actually places a small microphone that's connected to the laptop just in the middle of the table. And just looks across at all mm -hmm. of you one by one and just we wanted to keep it small but we just want to make sure that we keep 
like we keep notes of anything that was said, if that's okay with all of you. Agreed. I'm fine. fine with that. If I don't know. Okay. Yep. So you've had a chance to look over the paperwork. We yeah, have. You've been some busy. Interesting ranges. Do you see now why we picked the individuals we picked? No, not in all cases. <laughs> we. <laughs> Uh, was... No, you won't say that. I think you'll say there are some interesting choices that have been made. Yeah. Was there anybody in particular? Oh, well, I mean, in the spirit of honesty, I suppose, your red choice is a little unusual for a leader type person. He... Yeah, um, Captain Mitchell. <laughs> Captain Mitchell made that choice. Um, he seemed very confident that Carter had the necessary qualities, and maybe he'll grow that, into it. Yeah. Well, he thought that with Chad Lee as his second in command, just sort of tempering some of those more aggressive tendencies to deal with problems head on um maybe things would be a little bit better um okay. you decided not to bring them today we didn't calm down calm it down <laughs> anybody thinking maybe that we were trying to we didn't want there being any Accidents, any mistakes, any hostilities. We just need jets and sharks step by step. Yeah, we don't don't need that. You know, the superheroes fight and then they team up thing. You know, it's fair. I get you. She is <laughs> physically okay. rolling her eyes behind her helmet at this, and is just like, "Calm it down, Sarah. Sarah, gotta gotta keep it back. Keep it back. <laughs> you no, won't get your chance. Like... I swear to you." <laughs> I'm just curious. Right. Well, Do you have any idea why Captain Mitchell is so invested in this particular Red Ranger? We do. Um, I actually asked him the question today, which is why it's not in the file. Um, I apologize mm. about that. It wasn't intended to be deception on our part, but we didn't think it was. Apparently, it's, it's Carter was a point. No, sorry. It's sorry. No, I was just going to say it's just a point of clarification that I'm oh, asking. Definitely, um, all cards on the table. Before Carter was a firefighter, Carter Grayson was in a fire as a child, and. Captain Mitchell was the firefighter that saved him. Reportedly, the demon that set the fire that Captain Mitchell saved Carter Grayson from was the very same demon that Carter Grayson and the Lightspeed Rescue Rangers fought in their first foray as Rangers. So it's all come a bit full circle. But apparently he's really? been watching Carter's career, as it were, with interest. And he seems be very intent. Just imagining Just imagining Ghost Infernia being like a lot of that fire stuff going around, huh? <laughs> You're in tower to sit and like quiet you. <laughs> Internally you... screaming. <laughs> Q's dad looks across at the five of you and just, if you don't mind, I have a question. Um, I appreciate this may be a touchy subject. Clearly, 
you're not the original Rangers. We know, <laughs> we surmise that they went to space. But you two, and he gestures at um, Sarah and Sophie, you're not the original Black and Blue Ranger, even for this team, are you? Yeah. Sophie just um, shakes her head. Has, <clears throat> has there been casualties already? No. Um, not no. in the strict, not in the strictest sense of the word casualties. <laughs> Could you? Someone decided it wasn't for them, and the other went somewhere else. Yeah, That's... about that. <laughs> that is understandable. Um, it's a lot being a Power Ranger. Um, we've made yeah. therapists available full time to the Lightspeed team. Um, it's just, it's just, it's just the smallest I'm glance. Just, <laughs> out the corner of the oh, eye, you can't see through the mask. Just Sarah, Sarah's looking at Cal like, bro. <laughs> Sophie, I'm got it. Sophie, Sophie says it's great that you're able to take care of your team that way. Um, and she looks at him. <laughs> she looks at the rest of the team like. What else do we want to talk to them about? <laughs> she waits for someone else to speak up. Yeah, I mean, we, we've poured over the information you gave us. Uh, I guess. Do you have any other questions for us right now? Um, yes, did that? you... I mean, we brought up the... Uh, I hate to ask, but did you have any more of the armor plating? from any of the Zords, if we can produce some more of that geothermal power plants we may be able to create some more of the ages yeah uh, let I mean... me check Let me check tour storage real quick yes yes we do, we have we do have, we do have some armor plating left in the tour as far as we know, we have some spare components from the original Zords that the original team had years back no, uh, would be willing to potentially trade for some tech slash information. What do you want from us? I mean, we, we're trying to be as upfront with you as we can. Is there something specific? Um, you, just before Pete could jump in, Q goes, "We want your lives." <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Strong hand on shoulder. <laughs> Simmer down. If they specifically have an example of what they use for the Rangers to morph. Do you want to see oh, the morph? And in the in the packet we got? The like I feel like I feel like it would be in the folder, like Was it, it in like, the folder? We, we never actually covered it, but was it? No. The actual designs weren't, but they can make them available. Um, they kind of share the look. You know, that look that people have when it's like, should we? Can we? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Do I have the authority to? Yeah. Um, people are really saying that there's nothing on towards... Um, just want to double check where, obviously, the means in which you're accessing the the, the morphing grid is a yeah. standard means. So if there was a way of potentially boostering your signal to help give you additional power if you need it, or if there is a problem with the stability of the connection, maybe there's something we can do to help stabilize that. Um, yeah, we can, we can get the... Uh... You're not going to want computer files, are you? You're going to want this on paper. Preferably. Really? We can get this printed off for you. <laughs> um, Thank you. I'm still dubious at the moment the way I'm looking at it, so we don't want anything tech-wise that we can integrate with our tech that they could then access. Is there really somewhere we can send it 
to do if if you the fax that we sent you if you use the same carrier signal back um it'll okay. reach us i'm sure we've got a printer somewhere laying around On a technological side note, you can just consume the tax data straight away because it's binary signal, so it can go straight into a computer and Alpha can then process it directly. So we're not burning all of the paper in the world, but <laughs> we are making them work. Um, then tech-wise, was there anything else we wanted to? Was there anything else we wanted to know from these guys in particular? Anyway, would we want to? Yeah. Sorry, go I was going to just ask: Do we want to see if using their resources we could try like? devise or create some way to track down uh, Rito or any of the things he is working on on Earth or in our city. Or the it's coins. like, hey, you guys have... It's like, look, we may be the Power Rangers, but we have one robot and, like, several part-time engineers who are sometimes there doing stuff in the form of, like, uh, in the form of, like, Peter and Sophie. Apparently sleep. So. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> could we possibly use the big the big technological company to try and create something that like could locate or suss out where the teleportation signal of Rito Revolto is coming from places. It goes frequently just any um, ideas like we can, so that we can start hmm. taking the fight back to the aliens. Um, along that same vein, would we be able to give them an energy signature to scan for that was along the lines of the pink ranger coin that was and question to the we, team would we I, without I telling actually, them what it is but yeah say so can you look I, for this and let us know if you see it i actually was thinking i would like a more specific information exchange with a light speed scientist or a morphing grid specialist over at light speed to learn more about uh, the light speed connection to the morphing grid and see if that's on the up and up. You want and, to pull you know, I would like to learn more about, about it from that perspective and we then can... maybe we can build can, more trust that way if i appreciate it's difficult to trust us i appreciate it's going to take time to do so i don't want to sort of try and push that on you but we can arrange for you to visit our base if one of you wants to come if two of you wants to come People chime in and say he'd very much like to see their R&D department. In your morphed forms? In our morphed forms. Yeah. <laughs> At least for now, yeah. You, People 100%. tend to explain to them that we have sub-rules that we have to follow, being that we are connected to the morphing grid in a particular way. We can't reveal our identities, and that is something that they will have to deal with in the politest way. So, blue and, Me and green? I mean, I yeah. definitely would like a tour. Blue, green, and yellow? Black. Uh, sorry, blue, green, and black? Yep. I haven't said anything. I've just been here. <laughs> yeah, I can... Green can tour R&D. Uh, blue, you can meet Miss Fairweather. Um, black, I'm sure I can get one of the other rangers to give you a tour. Um, that would be great. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> Like, Chad, Chad, maybe Cal is gonna take you on a tour. Cal is gonna send Sarah a bunch of emojis through like the the head. Mm. It's like, come on, you got this. Don't do not fumble this. You got this. Maybe uh, what was the name? Uh, the the sporty one. Maybe her. Oh, Kelsey. Yeah, Kelsey. Yeah, I'm sure one, would yeah. love to. He, he sends a facepalm emoji. Um, <laughs> there's just like a, there's like a string of like hand emojis coming through. It's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is there a particular day? Not that one. <laughs> that would work best for you guys. Those days are pretty Thursday. open for us. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. All of you. I mean, my and in red will still be here uh, protecting Angel, and, uh, Angel Grove. And the confluence of events, we all do seem to have Thursday off, yeah. Well, 
if you want it, I can it send one. one or two of the light speed rangers just just to Angel Grove. Um, just in case anything happens, just in case you need any backup. Like exchange but, students! Yeah! The great gotta thing, yeah. Gotta who stop making be... references to the fact that you're in school. <laughs> who would you be... Who would you be sending over? Uh, well... In, I mean, if... If, uh... My green colleague... And my black colleague and I are coming over. Are you going to send three of yours over? Yeah, I mean, as an exchange, you want, you want our yellow ranger to give you the tour, so that makes obviously she will be there. Um, Carter will have to be in Mariner Bay because he leads the team, but um, Chad, Lee, uh, Joel, Rollings, um, definitely the two of them. Um, Dana Mitchell, she can help out just in case anything, if there's any problems. Between the three of them, they've got uh, the ability to get across Angel Grove quickly. They've got the training necessary to help anybody should there be any issues. That seems, yeah, that seems good. Sounds good. And then in the fairness of, obviously, the information exchange, is there any information you would like to see from us? Besides the uh, besides the Zord bits, we're going to be getting you anyway. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we can't offer a tour of our facility because it's kind of a secret. But if there's any tech information you'd require, like I'm sure. On in, on internals it. on internals could could we show them tour? Like, would that be okay? Or a tour tour? Yeah. A tour tour. That's where the Zord components are. So it would. Makes it, rather than us having to shift it all ourselves, it would make sense. We can take take around the I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure these guys are actually salivating over the fact of getting to examine an extra dimensional space. The wallet trick I did earlier isn't in, was insane for them. <laughs> um, can Tor teleport? Yes, he is mobile. Tor isn't can he? teleport. Yeah. Or teleport. So <laughs> this is awful because there's loads of T's in this sentence. So technically Tor could teleport to a location where we've arranged to meet them and then they can meet Tor and have a Tor Tor. And in fact, <laughs> because their base is the Aqua base, Tor could just yeah. travel. Tor could just yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. Tor travels. Yeah. <laughs> So many business opportunities. Yeah. And on the internals, I mean, not yet, obviously, but like if if we continue building trust, I don't see why someday we can't give them mm -hmm. a proper tour of our command center and ourselves. Yeah, eventually. Q, does, yeah. Q does say out loud, um, at some point, if we're planning on working together, we should probably train or do some kind of exercises together. Because if a threat yeah occurred where we were all there and we foul it up that's going to be if there the was some if there was a demon angel if there was a demon alien then both I, think, I don't like that uh, if they joined <laughs> forces definitely um perhaps you um I, I apologize to all all five of you our Red leader is the ranger of our team, but I've been presuming that your red ranger is the leader of your team. Is that correct? That seems to be the way uh, the, the grid works, yeah. Yeah. There's, some, there's bias inherent in the system, you know. Well, perhaps you and Chad can have that conversation. Um, and then... Well, Chad's our second in command, so perhaps you, Blue Ranger, can have that conversation with Carter. You can arrange joint training sessions between the four of you. Presumably, you can talk to each other over long distances. We can. We'll make it work, yeah. Yeah, we get that. But it, it's we definitely have, a good idea. We have training facilities. Presumably, you have yeah. the same. Behind the helmet, Sophie's face is like, "Am I the second in command?" Like you, you, you she's not saying it out loud. She's like, huh? "Did I just get promoted?" <laughs> <It's> just... 
<laughs> no, it was just a really like unsure face, but she just takes it in stride. Out loud, she just confidently <laughs> says, "Yeah, sure, we can make this happen." <laughs> This and helmet's the ultimate poker face. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about behind helmet. the helmet. Everyone's got a poker face. Um. <laughs> on on internal comms, Pete will make the suggestion to everyone. If ever considering this meeting group seems to be going pretty well, they seem to be pretty open. Would it be a good idea to give them access to our communications so that if anything was to go down, they could get in touch with us in a a timely manner, rather than waiting for us to respond to a so, fact. Sophie, um, Sophie's, Sophie thinks about uh, what Peter is saying and says, what if we gave them a specific line that's just for them so they, it's secure but doesn't mess with um, all of the other stuff? Yes. Yeah, when we were talking about it earlier, we said about Alpha creating some kind of, I don't want to say two-way radio, but a radio that just functions yep. as a between us and them um will he have had time to have d d done that done that overnight i will say or by Thursday, certainly definitely especially if you throw a story point just you know just into the ether just drop Friends, one do in we there. have yeah. fucking how many Java, Java. how uh, many do we have six at the moment so we got yeah, one for a dog one in. you did get one for the dog sorry i'm dog biased <laughs> And I even know the dogs. Um, can we... Uh, so we can just drop one in for yeah. the yep. secure yeah. light speed only communication. The, light, like the light speed walkie talkies. No, <laughs> it's not a walkie talkie. It's just a separate channel. <laughs> I was going to say, is it like the black phone that was always red, but this one's like in all of the different range of colors? No. <laughs> it's, it's they just it's a one commu it's an yeah, extra it's communicator like that only taps in the one frequency of the so a walkie talkie it's not got the teleportation feature or the group messaging feature it just has the call feature as it were but mm. it can communicate to you guys you guys can communicate back but it can't break into your channels or anything else mm. alpha is as certain as alpha can be being the several thousand year old robot that he is that they cannot break through um he's 99.9 well, we'll like recurring percent all right, and no, just like thing. just like the wallet trick, upon giving notification that yes, we are giving them <laughs> that, Cal will then reach reach out of camera frame and pull it in. <laughs> you see, um, Q's dad just shakes his head again. Just metaphysical space. How? Just if we could figure this out, storage transportation of goods yeah like i'm thinking also on internals the tour tour the tour tour is sounding like a better idea um, yeah i mean if we want to take tour for a spin when we head down there yeah you asked earlier if there was anything we wanted um we'll long take term for long term we would love help with our space program i appreciate I'm not asking today, I'm not asking tomorrow, but you mentioned a robot. Your rangers went up into space, they left, they haven't come back, but rangers came from space. The metals in your zords aren't from this planet. Clearly... I did not know that. Clearly, yeah, the asteroid that asteroid missed us. Something there is some link. I mean, I'd be happy to try and try and help with that. Like I can talk to our guy at HQ and see what I can delve up about some sort of space terrestrial tech. You so, were I I mean where kind of on the same boat. We're in the early stages of what we're doing as rangers. So, uh, yeah, if we're thinking about this long-term, it's going to have to be real long-term. 
we haven't gotten to space ourselves. So, you know, I'm not saying no, but I think the, it's going to be longer term than maybe you're even thinking. The third individual who so far hasn't said a word, they lean in. Um, while Q's dad is there, he has the bearing of a scientist. He, everything is a question. He wants to know why. Um, the CEO is there, and everything is yes or no. It's a definite. This person seems to be more like, how can we make this happen? It's the wheelie deely sort of, and they just. I see yet. the marketing department is here as well. You haven't been <laughs> to space yet. But well, considering we are fighting aliens, yeah, I, I we're mean, probably going to have to get there. Maybe yeah. one day. Simply, I'm simply cautioning that when we're saying long term, it. Oh yeah, you know, six months, a year, um, and how long have we been rangers by this point? Three, uh, weeks, four three weeks. weeks. Bad four a month. Year. Bad a month. Yeah. Four yeah. As much. So, so it might it might be an even longer term than you know, that sort of plan. Not you don't, mean, you know, we don't we you can't leave the planet yet. Yeah, it's, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be my favorite for, guy. <laughs> one would assume that we put Alpha on live uh, If you wish for Alpha to be in the conversation, yeah, that's in. Yeah. Just so obviously he's getting all of this information yep. instantly, so he can start obviously making, up the, moving yep. things along, doing some computing, getting the Processing. Zords to separate out all of the old Zord parts. Which now that I say it, sounds really. You're dream. making a bunch of you're making a bunch of sem sapient beings at the very least sapient, probably sentient. Uh, separate out the yeah. corpses of their fallen brothers. Yeah, it did sound awful after I said it. Um, but Alpha does Pretty. respond. He's like, um, yeah, I've got a lot of Veltarian technology in the databanks. Uh, we did help with the Astro Megaship. Um, we can definitely help jumpstart their space program. Well, that sounds like something we can agree to, to their terms on then. In the future, absolutely. Yeah. Let's not give them everything at once. Yeah. Of course not. Let, let's see how our uh, exchange program, and we'll play it from there. Agreed. <laughs> well, this seems to have been a fairly productive meeting. Uh, Y'all got any other questions? Uh, just again, I appreciate trust and everything. Is there names? I'm not asking you for your name, but what should we call you individually? We can refer to you by color. Yeah, by that'll work. Animal, mythological or I, not. I am. I am good being referred to by either yellow or griffin. One or the other. Yeah. Color would be fine. Yeah, either way. It makes no sense because, I mean, we've got two dragons on the team. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. Seems to be the way, yeah, the way to go. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, all of you, for your time. Um, we do appreciate it. And hopefully this relationship... And this is the marketing guy now um, who's just leaning forwards. Hopefully this relationship can continue to flourish and we can, you know, facilitate a deeper connection between our two groups. He does the alpha head tilt. <laughs> and yeah, you're saying you know, good work. Synergize our tech, your tech towards our ultimate combined goal. 
taking any of the demon arts. I was wondering, uh, the the force field thingy that you've got around Angel Grove. Yeah, Aegis Core. Yeah, yeah. With does that require like a whole ass volcano to be in, or could you like potentially put one of those everywhere, anywhere, like the whole the whole planet? I'm thinking the, at some point. Someday. The intention is the whole planet. The right. power requirements is the big issue. Um, the the geothermal power we created or we're drawing from Mount Aziz required scraps of Zord armor to withstand the high temperatures of mm -hmm. the volcano. Um, but the sheer high temperature is allowing us to generate so much more powerful than traditional geothermal methods would. It's a win-win. You were able to recreate this tech using only Zorb Would that then improve the efficiency of it? Rather than combining it with our tech? That's the plan. That's what we're hoping for. And if we can use the scraps of armor that you are being able to provide us, that will allow us to further develop uh, other Aegis cores. Yeah. And if we are able to jumpstart our space program, we can. We've already found several asteroids that have the right combinations of metals that we can mine. Yeah. If we can just watch out for markers. Power, hopefully, we can protect the Earth and take the fight I... to everyone else. One what? last question then. As it was being attacked the other day, is the Aegis core that you're using now still up and running? It's still completely operational. We don't know what happened. The lava had risen. Um, it was a lot more difficult to work in the area. We only have two suits the engineers can wear. Um, again, built from scraps of the armor um, that we were able to salvage. We've yeah. not been able to detect any problems with the equipment, any problems with the barrier. Nothing seems to have changed. Well, I mean, she did claim to be the lady of Mount Aziz, whatever that actually means. So hopefully, if she ever does come back, it's not going to be for a while. Uh, you, Cal, Cal, Cal on mute will turn to the, to the, <laughs> to the current Infernia and be like... Any idea on a timeline? <laughs> well, you know, you are just so uptight when you've relaxed a little bit. Um, <laughs> maybe learn to put yourself first. Have a little. All right, I'm not fun. taking therapy from the. I'm not taking. I'm not taking hey. therapy from the fire lady in my head. <laughs> You're gonna have to listen to me one day. I'm here to stay. <laughs> Cal's, Cal doesn't say anything to the rest of the team but the body language does change <laughs> he's just like uh. so are we com uh, have we completed our business here and I look at everyone else I mean, yeah, I on think the so. team any, anyone, anyone on either side got any other questions like for now? Was it covered track the alien signatures on this planet? <laughs> was it covered in the paperwork as to whether they have several Zords that join together or just one big Zord? You've big seen team? the Megazord. Yeah. You've was seen it them individually clearly formed and as a Megazord? Oh, right, yeah. Okay. yeah. Cool. Yeah, um, you've seen the individual did have another question, but and it's the gone. Megazord at this point. Uh, unlike you, because of the Aegis core, they've actually fought as a Megazord several times. That was the question. They said that they were going to send us through the frequencies for the Aegis core so that we could teleport through the barrier. It was in the, the paperwork. Barrier. In the pack, got yep. it. Perfect. Alpha's done it. Oh, wait, yeah, I have a question. Uh, about about uh, your uh, Lightspeed Rangers Megazord, uh, when 
the rangers combine their zords into the megazord uh do you have any notes or details on what happens to the to the cockpits it was a very interesting experience um we can put the design schematics together uh when you guys visit next thursday green blue and the black ranger um you guys can have a look you welcome to have a look inside the zords as well um definitely i'm curious like is, there's is a lot of car. moving parts um i'm glad i'm not an engineer i wonder if they have regular cockpits or if they have weird things like i do hmm. but i think this has been a success a successful second meeting um we'll go away put together the list of stuff we need um send it through to you and start working on the um swap for next thursday if you're all right yeah yeah y'all should and, be uh, sure to yeah. give graham here a good tip i think he's found a I, colin i tip graham like a hundred dollars <laughs> Um, yeah, I, didn't even, they have... I didn't even buy anything. I just give this man a hundred dollars. So they have, um, they have a way to communicate with us now, correct? Fax. Fax machine. And, yep. and into the system. Yep. Literally, the fax um... machine is hooked up to the computers, so you get the fax. Yeah. The fax it goes straight onto the computer, no paper or anything, and Alpha is able to just do what he does with it or show you guys. Yes. And then what I can now too. And vice versa. Okay. Right. We can talk to him whenever we need to. It's a very interesting mix of old school and super high tech. <laughs> Tape and chewing gum. Yeah. He was the tall VPN. Well, like, as everyone's kind of taking off, Sophie lingers um, just a little bit, and then she'll, like, lean over at the table, kind of her back facing away from the team, she says. Um, if your team needs any extra assistance, I would be willing to volunteer some time. And then she, like, uh, stands back up and kind of nods and goes to catch up with everyone else. You presumably teleport back to the command center? Yep. Yep. And that was the teleporting pop. Solid the plan. Teleporting pop. Q is going to be having family dinner. Does everybody else know what they're doing with their Sunday evening? I think I'm shooting uh, cat. <laughs> yeah, Sarah's shooting cat. <laughs> what are you trying to join in with this? <laughs> this seems interesting. I, d I don't know if you guys, off table, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, like, that police report of the two guys who were arrested for buying a bulletproof vest and then sh taking turns shooting one another. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that is me. that is my plan. It's like just grab the gun, morph into the ranger, and like take a shot in the take a shot in the leg to see if I can actually take a bullet. Does Sophie? Go Sophie on. is going probably going going to have like. She's going to bring a bunch of her books, like, you know, she's going to be digging into pre-med stuff, she's going to be digging into Billy's journal, she's going to be studying her face off, and then also using the training room as her own personal, like, gymnastics training ground. Um, just watch been, out for the like, She just, oh, is there multiple training rooms? Do we have more than one training room? You do, actually, because you have one that's oh, sized God. for Zords and one that's sized for people. Oh. All right, come is... shoot me in the Zord room. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we'll, we'll use the Zord room for shooting. Okay, then Sophie will use the training room, the other training room, just to 
Um, so I imagine a busy has um, Sophie has a busy schedule, like pre med stuff. Like oh, during yeah. the week, she's practicing, she's volunteering, she's doing all the stuff, right? But on Sunday, she she spends the day like she spends her free time in the command center, unless she's gone home to Mariner Bay, which she hasn't since the start of school. She hasn't seen her parents or anything in like what a month. <laughs> Um, but yeah. she, um, decides to just go and backflip, blow off some steam. Because <laughs> somehow, no matter how busy you are, you still have time to be a Power Ranger. Yeah, you have to find the time to be a Power every... Ranger. Um, pre-meds, you just... uh, you've got your scholarship you have to keep on yeah. top of. Your power and athletic design. scholarship. Yep. Yeah, no. Sleep. What is sleep? <laughs> <laughs> That's coffee, right? Caffeine, 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 and extra substitute, caffeine. Yeah. yeah. No, she's she's an athlete. She tries to be healthy. She's drinking tea. She's she's say, drinking the black teas and what I will mm. say is since becoming a power ranger and you've all noticed this especially the more athletic amongst you you can run longer you can sleep less you can do <laughs> more it's like sophie's discovered she can backflip more buoying you up it's keeping you from burning out but whether there is a cost to that later on who knows? So, so now the all important question. Mm -hmm. How much does how much does getting shot hurt as a power ranger? I'm terrified by that. <laughs> um <laughs> just, just a real Pete isn't getting shot. He's just here to see no, what Peter goes is on. Peter is observing Cal being shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not science if you don't have an observer. Mm-hmm. That's fair. We have we have the observer fair. in Peter. We have the test subject in Cal, and we have the shooter in Sarah. So, <laughs> presumably, you're just getting hit. You're letting yourself get hit. Yes, I'm letting myself be shot for science. Because when a normal person gets shot, it's really, really bad. <laughs> I want to see if when a Power Ranger gets shot, it's bad, but, like, I want to, I want to know the mitigation. I want to know what the mitigation level of a Power Ranger suit is in comparison to a 9mm. So, <laughs> you... Breaking it down into the mechanics very quickly, a pistol does one damage. Cal has three hit points. Yeah. Yeah. So, it hurts. So... Would it feel the same it as just bruises. getting hit by a buddy then? Um, probably more because of the velocity mm -hmm. and the, like, how small the target area is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but not awful. He's probably got like a cracked rib, and in fact, what I would say is he has got a cracked rib, um, some bruising, and when Cal and Sarah walk out and sophie walks out of the other training room oh that was great <laughs> you yeah do we see, learned like, we definitely yeah. cal kind of favoring one side of the other over the other i'm i'm li i literally have like an arm on peter so that i'm not putting pressure on the cracked rib and i'm just like that was great <laughs> he's Wait, sad, like, is he like, did he do it so on. he's morphed right mm -hmm. he's i took morphed, my damage right? kick I mean, not anymore. I unmorphed out of when I got out of the training room, probably. Sophie uh, unmorphed if she I wants to question. be. I have a question, yep. though. So, does does injury carry over to your unmorphed form? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, does Sophie notice Cal? Oh yeah. It's injured. It's He's, it's visible. He's like leaning on Peter, and he's like, I am, I am on Peter, awesome. just like, that was great. <laughs> Sophie looks at Cal. Oh, no. Ah, fuck! <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Sophie, looks, Sophie, looks, Sophie looks at Peter. Is Sarah also there? 
Yep. Sarah did the shit. Sophie, Sophie looks at Sarah and finally says, what the fuck? Sarah presumably <laughs> still has so the gun. Science. So as it turns out, Sophie, this is incredible. If you get shot while morphed, it hurts, stings like a bitch, but no, pe- it does not penetrate, does not break skin. This is incredible. Yeah, the, um, yeah. I have it so, just to like to bounce Sophie, off, but you know. Sophie, Sophie blinks. Calic shows off the bruise. No, just just bruising. No, no bleeding. No, did not go through. The these suits are so cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm surprised you uh-huh. took as much damage from it as you did there. Yeah, I'm uh, uh, I suppose that depends on whether you you were. How heavy your armor is. Mm-hmm. You wear some lighter form of... Or your suit is a lighter form. Mm-hmm. Is lighter, lighter armored. Is, and it can still stop a bullet. <laughs> exactly. Like yeah. uh, the, I'd be laughing if it didn't hurt so much. <laughs> the weakest armor we have available to us. And it still doesn't penetrate. So, you know. That's good. If we ever have to fight people who have guns. And the suit didn't actually even have a mark on it. <laughs> the more you know. There was some Sophie weird just, Sophie, Sophie just nods, a little bit unsure of why it was necessary <laughs> to do any of it. Um, Science. Because we have a gun. <sighs> the reason, the reason I wanted to know is that if, if someone is being attacked by someone with a gun, how plausible... Like, how much... I, when I throw myself in front of them, am I going to be down and out right away, or can I, or can I be there in front of them to protect them and also deal with the attacker? Yeah, yeah that's fair. Knowing the, limits of, knowing the defensive limits of my suit is very important to knowing my, like, what method of rescue is more appropriate in any given hostile situation. I mean, on, the, on, on, that, on that angle, like, we've seen light speed doing regular like fire rescue and things who's to say that we can't do the same thing i mean look the fact that the suits the suits protected us inside a volcano is like that's marvelous i mean yeah across a bank robbery or something why why wouldn't we stop it we have the ability yeah yeah you know that's a good point actually why are we just like why are we just focused on aliens humans are pretty bad too Possibly worse. I was like, can you guys hook up to the emergency services like systems? So like if any emergency comes through, can we get a police radio in here? The philosophy has <laughs> just gone wild. Um B is just gonna say It's more superheroes. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go right out. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you, but I have a lot on my plate. Oh, and... it's okay. I got time. I'll handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, say being a pre-med student and a superhero and a student athlete isn't easy trying to juggle all of that at once no, but if you all want to do emergency services on top of whatever else you guys are doing oh it's gonna be great Peter Couch please, please. <laughs> I'm just saying um, that's Sophie's gonna look oh, at no. Cal's injury and use one yeah, expend one of the uses of her med kit just to kind of like patch it up and just be like oh sick Tylenol <laughs> and yeah and then I'm gonna say next time you do anything dumb for science uh give me a heads up and I'll make sure you don't hurt yourself too hard Think about it all day we... <laughs> no we weren't that was, us. That was the real time. us that was the real us. We had a silent conversation when we were like, yo, you gotta shoot me. <laughs> All right, I suppose that was internal, wasn't it? Whoops. Yeah, oh. there was one... Like, we didn't... <laughs> Forgot uh, that was... Cal, Cal, will give, Cal will give Sophie a thumbs up as he walks to go lie down. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm certainly not gonna go looking for additional problems, but if a problem presents itself, knowing that I can step in, it's nice to know your yeah, the one the one Inferni- thing <laughs> the one thing I have in common with the light speed 
Power Rangers as I am a first responder, a trained first responder. Uh, so I do have something in common with the pink and red rangers. So I, I get it. I'm already kind of, I was already kind of doing that before y'all came up with it. <laughs> um, so. And how we got you? Um, J I've been uh, working, I've been working with the Angel Grove Emergency Services. <laughs> yeah. That's how y'all found me, actually. Exactly. God, so. Just imagining that after after Sarah had said, I'm not going to go looking for things, but if something happens in front of me, just Infernia turning t to Cal in his mind is like, so we're going looking for problems? And Cal is just like, like yep, mm -hmm, for sure. <laughs> we oh, are going to shift to the Mercutio household. Mostly because I like saying... Well, technically, <laughs> I, I suppose right it would back. be the... Uh, Quinn household. household, yeah. Uh, I like <laughs> saying house both, to be fair. Um, surprisingly, when uh, Q arrives, his dad is there. He doesn't seem to have been there much longer, uh, or much before Q. He's still wearing the same outfit that Q saw him in, in the Happy Yak. He's actually got a cup of Happy Yak coffee. Um, his hair is slightly messier. Perhaps a helicopter ride was involved in the haste in which he rushed home. And he's actually at the dinner table, waiting. He doesn't have any work in front of him. He doesn't have a laptop out. His phone isn't in sight. This is probably the first time Q has seen this since they came to Angel Grove and his dad started working for Emigrant Tech. Because for the first time since his dad started working for Emigrant Tech, everything is working out. They have the Lightspeed Rescue Rangers. They're working. They have... And in Sorry, the Lightspeed the Rescue Rangers are suddenly gone very Chip and Dale in my head. <laughs> um, the, the the Thunder Rangers seem to be sharing with them. Um, everything's looking positive. And he has a big smile on his face. And as Q comes in, he looks over. He's like, hey, um, I'm glad you're here for dinner. Mum's just finishing up in the kitchen, but... I'm sorry, things have been really busy. I, I appreciate things have been really busy for a long time, but I just wanted you to know that I, I have been listening. I have spoken to some of the different teams that work, and I have gotten your friend, Peter. It's kind of an internship. Mostly it's going to be a bit of filing. Um, maybe they'll let him do some basic uh, mechanic stuff but obviously a lot of what we're working on is very high tech and I still know him as the kid who burned kid with a laser pen <laughs> yeah like I couldn't <laughs> not warn them if we waste several million dollars worth of R&D because he dropped a screwdriver and forgot to tell someone that it was down a turbine I don't care how well I do work, they're probably going to fire me but it's an in if he does awesome. well, well uh, thank you I'll um, I'll I'll let him wow. know and um actually and Q pulls out his phone. He was gonna write it down, but he'll text his dad Pete's um email address. Like <laughs> Green Ranger, like whatever it was. Um wow. if you need He's your still HR in this one. Yeah, like... well if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what they say. Um Does Does your 
college have like a uh you know like a work i'm trying to think of the word. you know like work skills work, study. work studies yeah you know like get a professional Experience. sounding email address and yeah. you know that sort of thing not green ranger fan uh institutional email like um yeah. my 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 sort of thing. my school gave me an email not like address green ranger fan at <laughs> whatever it was um yeah well i know that he'll check that one so it's probably the quickest way of getting hold of him if you wanted okay. to get hold okay. of him i'll um i'll give it to hr um and well we i know it might not be your thing but we're doing a bit of a work event um my team's responsible for some clean energy projects. We're partnering up with uh, Angel Grove's water and power plant. I don't know if you want to come along. Mum's coming. Um, Pete, I can get him tickets. When you say event, is it like a fun event or is it like a cocktail event it's or is like, it like uh, a... we may be providing free power to angel grove event and there'll be free food free food and drink um commemorative knickknacks commemorative knickknacks uh i hear we're partnering mm -hmm. with um ernie's juice bar apparently Everyone partners with Ernie's Juice Bar. So, apparently, they've got some sort of juice milkshake wizard who just makes milkshake everything. Just, wizard. Yeah. Dad, have you checked your medication recently? Hey, I marketing. <laughs> I don't work in marketing, but they're planning it. And apparently, this guy will make you like a pineapple smoothie that looks purple with green polka dots and it fizzes. I don't understand because that doesn't seem possible scientifically, but... Well, I've not tasted it yet and already I can feel gastric distress. Um, okay. Apparently it works. Yeah. If I could... Yeah. Yeah, if Pete could come, that would be awesome. I've got a yep. couple of friends who might be interested as well, particularly if there are um, commemorative knickknacks yeah, to um, be had. There will definitely... I mean, you know these sort of things. Marketing likes to throw away free pens, USB drives. I liked the gold rubber ducks. The rubber ducks, yeah. We, you know, we still keep finding the rubber ducks in, like, uh, some of the fountains. There was one in the... Uh, the D filmed in park after that mm. ranger that whole thing with Rito after that big thing alien. that kicked Mayor over yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, I don't know what people have been doing with them but yeah it's probably some viral campaign the probably. viral emigrant like some impending doom to come yeah, it's um, or was it foreshadowing? The foreshadowing of ducks. Yeah, Chekhov's gun. The ducks. The ducks. Chekhov's ducks. <laughs> oh god. I wouldn't do that. Um. Cool. Yeah. So you says like yeah. Um. Grab me a bunch of tickets, and then he goes in to see his mum in the kitchen, presumably. Mm -hmm. Closes the door and just goes. <laughs> What's happened? Why is he being so not normal, Dad? Is he everything has, okay? He has holiday. He never has holiday. He has holiday. He's talking about taking me on a trip. Okay. I mean, it's only to Mariner Bay, um, but he's talking about taking me on a trip. 
There's a boat involved, apparently a nice meal. I think work's just going really well. Awesome. Well, if you need any classes covering Marsh to Gone, let me know. And if I can fit it around school, I'm sure either me or the other teachers can uh, keep... Well, apparently we're going Thursday. Thursday. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, have fun. Thanks. And then he goes and offers a hand with getting the meal finished and ready and in people. Okay. Just on a very quick side note, Matt, your brother is an ass. Thank you. Um... <laughs> Sophie, mm -hmm. you hear from your lovely friend Dana, who you wrote the email to not too long ago. Uh, I wrote her like what two weeks ago, like yep. or She's even been before a I busy. became a ranger. She's been so a little bit I, busy. To be fair, the the um. What was it? The Nomad Bond is a monthly letter, so yeah, like we're um, both really busy. It's just been a little okay. bit busy. Um, just a little busy. It's just a little bit busy. Um, just a little busy. She, a lot of what it covers, you, you do already know. Um, some of it from just catching the news, but mostly because of. Everything mm -hmm. else that's been happening, um, you are officially part of a very selective club, um, mm. and information is kind of a thing. Um, but one of the things she does tell you is that her dad has been very strange. Um, she makes references to dinners that you guys have had over the years. Um, nice meals that he'd cooked. But she also comments on her brother. And mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like she's found in you someone that she can share with that's outside of what she thinks is outside of all the craziness. And she's just... Uh he keeps he keeps saying that he sees him he keeps saying that he sees him do i know if it's close to that time that anniversary you would know that based on her age it would be his 20th birthday in soon on thursday soon <laughs> oh, that's oh. unfortunate. <laughs> Sorry. So any ducks on that? All of, <laughs> all of this, like super heartfelt conf best friend confiding email. Can I send something back? Like you know, super close best friends, but essentially like saying. Oh, hey, do you need me, you know, do you need me to visit? Yeah. And, you know, my day off, my day off from school is on Thursday. You know, I'd like to offer some support. It's a very important, meaningful anniversary. Mm -hmm. You know, I offer that sort of thing. Um, you know, like catch up, have a meal, um, <laughs> you know. You do get conveniently <laughs> a message back almost instantly. Obviously, after sending you that email, she was up. She was uh -huh. at the computer. Um, have to go to Angel Grove on some ranger business. But I will be back in the evening. Um, if you don't mind coming a little bit later, I can cook something or pick up some takeaway we can just catch up uh, 
the the response she gets back is uh absolutely uh will drive over after practice okay sorry for the evil laughter by the way everybody um no you're not <laughs> that came unbidden that was just a genuine like oh, um <laughs> Who could have You're not that? sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're not sorry. I'm a little sorry. Um, <laughs> Who is going to come up? How did you not? You knew that was the next logical question. How did you not have it planned? Oh, I already had it planned. I just didn't know it was going to be asked today. I thought it might be a surprise. Um <laughs> You're talking to me, dude. <laughs> Cal, you're... You, you bastard! Yeah, I know. It's fine. I'm talking to you. You're chilling. Um, you've had your ribs looked at by uh, your resident medic. She's giving you some painkillers. Unfortunately for cracks or broken ribs, there's not a whole lot to do but let them heal. Um, painful. Mm -hmm. Can't bind them. Um, it is what it is. So you're just laying down, breathing, ow, breathing, ow, and you almost feel somebody sort of like leaning over you. And as you open an eye in front of I, I, I literally I open one eye. <laughs> yeah, she's just looking and she's like, you're so fragile. That tends to be the case when dealing with humans. All these breakable things. How do you go about your days? Doing our best not to break them. But <clears throat> you just willingly chose to break them. Sometimes experimentation is necessary. To figure out how not to break things in the future. I'd rather find out in a moment of peace than find out in the midst of battle. I don't understand you humans. I've been here for thousands of years, watched many of you come and go, but none of you make sense. Eh, that sounds about right. You say oh. something? Hmm? <laughs> so, oh, all right. What? I'm, maybe I'm hearing things. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Is Cal going crazy? <laughs> going? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Drive the ball, dude. <laughs> Peter. It's that time. It's that day. You're heading to the comic book shop, having dropped Cal off with... On the couch. Thanks, yeah. buddy. <laughs> and you wander towards where you are expecting to find everyone's favorite store owner, the lovely, friendly, slightly eccentric Brian... And as you walk, you get a ping from your phone. It is Claydoyus Pete. He sends you two messages. The king of the rumba beat. <laughs> the king of the rumba beat. We've not had him in a while. He sends you two messages in quick succession. And a third that came through, or comes through, sorry, a few seconds later. The first is a, another cat meme, because he is the king of the cat memes, yeah. as well as the mumba bee. Rumba bee. This <laughs> one is uh, all of the Power Rangers, except the green for a change. And it just says, be a part of the team. The second message is, 
saw black feathered individuals in the comic book store and the third message is probably should have sent that first dot dot <laughs> clay doyas <laughs> pete um upon reading the message people instantly like chuck his phone back in his pocket and like sprint to the comic book shop you run towards the store the shutters are still up the lights are still on but the displays inside are scattered the comics are all over the floor you notice straight away several black feathers dotted about much like the ones you saw in the command center only oh, a couple that was of weeks ago to... there is no brian visible and the display cabinet where he has all of his totally found amongst different alien planets relics is there is nothing there the blade blaster that he promised was real is gone the various swords and props that he thought would be good for your cosplay gone you check the back room empty his laptop is the only thing left and as you walk round you can see that he was in the middle of recording a video and you're able to rewind to see Brian is sitting there behind the counter talking to the camera and he's doing a little bit of a episode on all those damn talking ponies that he is sure are walking around Area 52 which is Definitely more dangerous than Area 51. You can tell because um, the number is higher. Exactly. And that is something that Brian does actually say at one point. It's worse than Area 51 because it's one higher. And you see him look up suddenly as the door opens and the bell jingles. And he's just like, hi, I'll... Who the... What? No! What are you do? And you hear a smash as one of the displays is knocked over you hear things being knocked aside you see one feathered taloned arm push brian back and then pull him over the counter you hear glass being broken presumably from the sounds of it all of the items in the cabinet being thrown into the various uh, containers they were used to take them and then the door opens again no I don't leave me alone and then silence well damn Pete kind of panicked um, on Radio Alpha and explain what's gone on at the comic book shop um, can Pete access the CCTV for the store at all there doesn't appear to be any. Appear being the operative word. I would uh, say, he'll ask Alpha to see if there is one and see if we can access it. Please. If Brian has CCTV, do you think he has it on an accessible network? This is Alpha. He needs the, the alien tech man. He can access it. Still needs a network. But we will cover that next week. Because, dun, dun, dun. On the or moon, we get, or on the week after, yes, <laughs> on the moon, you obviously don't see because you are all having a nice evening, but I think not so much. A figure is struggling to break free, and. He wants to. All you see is, is the hoovering? dunes of the moon. Peaceful. Quiet. And then one fist just punches its way up through the upper crust. One green 
hand unclenches, puts its head flat and starts trying to pull itself free. And that is that. Dun, dun, dun. Occasionally oh, we just check back in to see someone, not sure who, could be anyone really, screaming on the moon. Yep. <laughs> who could it be? No idea. I think pretty much everybody knows at this point. Um, everyone needs to stop reading comics. <laughs> but, yeah. No? <laughs> no. What? Hell no. <laughs> um, favorite moment um, going from going from Anne, because I think we went from Michael last week. We did. You know, um, <laughs> just Matthew dropping in the personalized backstory bits for everyone. Like, Cal's whole thing, and, um, you know, Q's family dinner, and, uh, the bit at the end with Peter, and, um, yeah, I just, I love those personal touches in this campaign. Thanks, Matt. You're welcome. I try. Um, I think little bits, and I'm definitely not going to make them come back and bite anybody, ever. I wouldn't do that. Um, I'd like to roll an inside check on the GM. The difficulty you need is to roll 100. an inside check on that one. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just. A no, hundred. I'm kidding. I know you didn't mean it. You have to get an auto success. <laughs> don't, um, don't make, don't say that. Because the second also, you say that shit, it will happen. Also, also, you know what? Her, you know what? I hate I rolling. Know. Rolling a crit on my D4 and I know. rolling a 19. I know. Failing you got by information. one. You got information. I did. Just not all the information. That, that hurt me deep, though. That was some morphin' grid lore. <laughs> okay. I'm over it. Someone else have a okay. turn. Uh, Black Ranger Michael, when you finish yawning, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, the unintentional evil laugh. <laughs> it genuinely was unintentional when it started. Um, I just went with it. I didn't stop it. It just comes so naturally. It does. <laughs> I'm just so evil, guys. Evil <laughs> is my middle name. Really? All right. It's yeah, gonna yeah. be. We'll go, we'll go. There were a lot of a lot of good moments, but although shooting cow was fun. That was like, <laughs> I come up with the best ideas. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm helping Jewish. Fine. That Getting seemed like shot. a Peter idea. I'm not going to lie. I was like, no. Um, yes, the ones who didn't suggest the stupid thing. <laughs> what are you talking about? That was brilliant. I noticed. Pete I can't tell you. Very level headed the entire session. He I has. can't wait. I can't wait till you get to see how many petty crimes the Yellow Ranger will now be getting involved in. Awesome. <laughs> Panic. Favorite moment of the session? Cal psychosis. <laughs> <laughs> Is Cal crazy? Or does he have yes. someone living in his head rent free? Maybe yes. Why not? Uh, <laughs> but yeah. just having having her there for the foreseeable future is going to be so much fun for me. So... Her showing up and being like, because like, I I literally asked like twice. I was like, oh wait, just so we're clear, I am now seeing her in front of me because I mm -hmm. wanted to confirm. Oh, I got a hallucination, and like that made me so happy. This also being shot. This is happening. <laughs> yeah, cal psychosis and being shot. Those are my two favorite things from today. <laughs> uh, that will bring us to Jay. Um. Graham's demise to working as a barista in a happy coffee shack in the middle of nowhere. The middle of an interstate between Mariner Bay and He thought it was Angel just Grove. a quiet little place just to do his hours, go home. Uh, yeah. Poor yeah. Graham. That is calling, though. Um, and Michael Green Ranger. 
Um, probably either Cow's Ghost Napper slash Kami Now situation. Um, <laughs> Ghost Napper, Napper, if it's just him hallucinating, and Kami Now, if it is actually part of its physical, like, consciousness. If part of Infernia somehow made it in. <laughs> and then also poking Cow in the bullet wound. <laughs> not even viewers. Yeah. No, that, <laughs> not that, that happens. No, I was yeah. shot with a gun and he touched that it. Um, <laughs> How's that any out of hand thing Peter did really? So. <laughs> I have to say out straight out of pocket. I actually quite liked the um the very quick email chain. We call it a ch- chain. Even though it's like four emails, um, that's a chain. Three emails is a chain. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Just Email because chain it's for like, sure. yes, Dana, I will be here, and Dana's like, I'm going to be an angel of growth. Um, it's okay. I'll be in Mariner Bay. You're like, <laughs> no, no, like, she didn't say. She didn't say that she was already oh, no. going to be there. She, she said, like, I'll Bay. be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just like, oh. But, I'll it took her an you. extra minute. <laughs> yeah. I'll meet you after practice. Yeah. I'll um, I'll come to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just the 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 great there's like two ships passing in the night. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely was sad that she was going to be in Angel Grove. Had to go do business. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got so I got so sad when I, when I found out that on the Thursday it was going to be like, yeah, not only it is it is it the would be birthday, but now you can't even be be in your home. You have to go do Power Ranger work in another city. <laughs> yeah, no, so it bad. feels bad. It felt so feels bad about so that. Bad. I was like, bro, <laughs> Dana Mitchell can stay. You know, she can stay there. Doesn't have to come. <laughs> Four Rangers can do it. No. Nope. For the heart of thinking, is there a game next week? <laughs> There is not yeah. a game next week. Um, it is my brother's birthday, and I and the Green Ranger will be stand or sitting around that table. Oddly enough, that the Green Ranger is currently sitting around, um, <laughs> eating some Are sort you of takeaway. But heads going yeah. to have Sorry, guys. going to have a hang and not but, playing Power Rangers with us. I promise a life I will behavior. plot. How dare you have a birthday on a Thursday? And <laughs> butthead. make things twice as evil in my to make up for the missed week. Fine, fine, fine. Awesome. <laughs> twice Guys, evil, is, that why, is that why you set everything up on the one Thursday to make up for not having a game? Heck yeah. I no. In my defense. I've reacted to what you put out. Uh-huh. You... Yeah, evilly. But you also reacted you could evilly. Have... <laughs> you also could have said the anniversary was coming up in a week, in a that few wouldn't have weeks, been fun. in a month. That wouldn't have been as fun. That's fair. Everything's somehow, happening like, on Thursday. Yeah. Somehow, against all mathematical Dana Mitchell, odds, the anniversary Dana is Mitchell always has on a, a Thursday. Yeah. First <laughs> Dana is a Mitchell has a ghost in her closet. I have a ghost in my head. We'll get along great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You're um, lamenting over the death of the death of your brother. I'm lamenting over the death of everyone I ever knew. <laughs> and I'm crazy. <laughs> but thank you very much, That's everybody, great. for watching, listening, enjoying... Um, who's going to steal it this time? May the power protect you. May the power protect you. We won't see you next Thursday, the 13th, but we will see you Thursday, the 20th. Have a A fantastic week, two weeks. Um, look after yourselves and yeah, have fun guys. Bye all. Bye everybody.